gamers. Today, we're gonna be watching the grand finals. Now, this game is ongoing right now, so I'm gonna speed it up, I'm gonna catch up so we can watch it real time, everyone on Twitch. For you guys on YouTube, obviously, it doesn't matter if it's real time or not. Uh, spoilers for those that uh, haven't watched or whatever. I mean, I, I don't know why you're watching this if you don't want spoilers, but uh, I ended up losing semifinals four to two, and then I played, like 20 minutes ago, I played against Lucifron for third place. Like, it's like extra thousand dollars. I think he gets 2,000, I get 3,000, something like that, or three to 4,000, I'm not sure. But I managed to win 2-0, so I'll be going over those games after on Twitch and yesterday on YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up. Like I said, I wanna catch up to the real time. So um, as I was chilling after my games, they already started, so I just needed like 10, 20 minutes to chill a bit. Basically, B went 2TC, Marine Lord went 3TC Rus. So, yeah, we're just gonna speed up and catch up to the original time in the game. Uh, Barbican is alright. Um, if he, I don't know where he made TC, but if he makes TC here, there's a little wall that's pretty good amount of food there, so. Oh, this is kinda monk, actually. So I missed this part. He killed two villagers and some idle time. That's pretty good damage, I think. Gremlin's coming. Yeah, this was a really good start from Marine Lord, actually. Yeah, I feel like this was this was pretty, pretty good. Three villager kills, and he's got third TC when he's B's building second. So that was a good start, but... Oh my god. My hands are dry as fuck. Um, so I felt like this was a pretty good start from Rainlord. Obviously, uh, the pit is a really strong map for Roos. Um... So overall, I would say pretty good start from Rainlord. Being equal in workers is pretty good with China. Uh, and obviously he's gonna get further ahead because... Um, what is Song Dynasty? Like 2.4 TCs. 2 TCs is 2.4 TCs, right? If I remember correctly. So 3 TCs, obviously 3 TC. Um, he's got a good high trade house right here. Two oh five. I saw. Uh, so this is kind of where I started watching. Um, and uh, yeah, B is going for like mass knights with China, which is pretty weird. I would say you don't usually do that. Uh, and it it starts off pretty well for uh, for for Marine Lord. I would say like he was picking off a lot of these knights and not really losing too too much. Around twenty minutes is is when I turned on the stream and like stop watching. He's got some damage here, but obviously B is killing some workers too. Relics, surprisingly, Marine Lord is the one that's got two and B has three, which again is, is a bit surprising in my opinion. Oh, that tower is so annoying. We see walls, no walls yet. I think he tried to rebuild it like three times and the villagers keep dying. That's pretty good harassment. I mean, knights on this map, in general. Oh, he pulled 16 gremlins. I don't know if he pulled him to kill the tower. I guess he did. But um, in general, the pit is like a great knight map, simply because you cannot defend all three sides. Like most maps, you can make some spearmen and crossbow defend, but on the pit, you can't. Like, you need to have cavalry, maybe not knights, but you need horsemen to harass. What do I predict? Uh, I would probably, I mean, I don't know how this game, uh, I don't know how this game is going to go, but it's a best of nine, by the way. Um, I would probably predict like a, I know this might be a bold prediction, but like a 5-1 or 5-0 even for Marine Lord. Maybe 5-2. I, I don't see B winning, but maybe, I don't know. But I, unless Marine Lord gets like really bad matchups, I don't see him losing uh, the best of, because it's a best of nine, by the way. It's not a best of three or five or so. So yeah, so right now, uh, Marine Lord 
is pushing through the middle. He's gonna get some worker kills. He's gonna get some night raids in. The bee has a lot of knights. 25 knights. That is a fuck ton. And Marine Lord might be getting caught off guard here. Because China massing knights is not really a thing you do. The reason why you don't do it is for the same reason you don't make um you don't go mass spear is French, right? It's like why would you? So it's similar with China. So you can go knights, it's not necessarily bad or wrong, but um you can just do like spearman crossbow siege, which is stronger. But because nobody really plays knights with China, then stuff like this can happen where you get caught off guard. And you can see Marine Lord switching to Horseman very early because... So the reason why he's switching to Horseman is because usually China will switch to Spearman, Palace Guard or, or Crossbow addition, right? So you pre-switch to Horseman to harass and you use Archers and Crossbows to defend the melee. But because, you know, B plays like B, he's going Mass Knight uh, Spearman, which is not very common like i said so it, it can catch your guard for sure um now marino does have spaskaya tower which i uh, mean questionable to place it there maybe he didn't expect he's gonna get pushed i'm not sure but this is looking pretty bad for marine lord he is making a uh, strelzi by the way which if he, if he gets like a couple of more out that's gonna be really good for him but yeah, if this Sky was in the middle, this is an easy cleanup. But this might get pretty, pretty scary for him uh, right now. Does he have any gremlins? He's got 12 gremlins. Oh, they're fighting already. Okay, I was like, where are they? So yeah, the moment the Strelzi count goes up, effectively Strelzi will counter the whole army comp of B, which is just Knight Spearman. But right now, B has a pretty good uh, timing to do some damage maybe not to end the game but to do some damage for sure so you can see it's kind of looking scary he's losing some villagers but um he got a sprinkled upgrade on kremlin which is pretty important so he'll be able to hold and b is not aging up so he's full producing which means that he is like obviously fully fully committing right and yeah marine lord is is definitely going to be holding and marine lord is switching to spearman because he realized, um, like he's still gonna make some horsemen, I'm sure, to harass. But he realizes he needs something to tank, and you know, going spearman versus spearman knight is like the best thing you can make, right? Um, so, yeah, once he gets like more and more, I'm surprised he's not making more strelzi. But what's the hold up with that? He's been on 13 for a while. Okay, he's adding some more now. Oh yeah, B's probably gonna age up now. You can see the food. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say you can see the food kind of going up. Twelve tiles. Um, so Marine Lord did go with Pascal, so he does not have cheaper siege or siege upgrades. Um, but one thing that he does have is gonna be a lot of passive gold. But he is playing against China, and China has a lot of passive gold. Oh, that's a oh, that's a big run by. Is he gonna kill a lot though? I don't know. Uh, China has a lot of passive gold as well because of um, because of taxes, right? Oh, he got a bail from that. All right, he's got a lot of strelts right now. Now this is an interesting matchup in the late game because Marine Lord does have. Spaskaya, so he will have stone walls against fire lancers, but um, he might not go fire lancers, he might just go spearmen uh, hand cannoneers with China because Chinese hand cannoneers are very, very strong. So that's a possibility. Um, resource wise, they're, they're both kind of the same, and Marine Lord is already prepping uh, trade, by the way. So yeah, oh, we see, we see Imperial Palace. Okay, he will go Fire Lancers. Marine Lord is doing a push. Oh, that was a nasty shot. Okay, one nest to, two nest to be go down, three nest to be go down. Uh, no emplacements on the uh, on the Barbican. 
Murray we should be able to do some damage here. Look, there's nothing here. I guess you don't know when you're playing right, but yeah, there's just nothing there. Nice little poke here with some spearmen, some harassment with with uh, with horsemen. And Marine Lord is usually pretty good with this like three prong attacking and harassment. So his economy is good enough shape to where he can just defend. And it doesn't matter what Civ you are, it's actually very hard to come back and stabilize from this situation. Because he's basically getting pushed on two sides right now. Like he's getting pushed here and on the bottom. And he, there's raids in Woodland. So it's incredibly difficult to stabilize. Because you need stone walls. Like that's the only way you can stabilize. And uh, well. There are no stone walls. Because this stone keep mining is pretty late. And B's food eco is going down. He's going to try to stabilize with the keep here. Which, like I said, you gotta stabilize one side so you can put effort in the other side to defend. Barbican goes down. Yeah, there's more horsemen run bys, and this is what I mean. What, what, this is this is actually how I lost against Marine Lord in this same matchup. Um, I had it, I had it, and then once I lost control, there were just like stream of units just coming through and killing my shit and you can see worker kills 60 now for marine lord and um marine lord is putting so much pressure that he actually doesn't need to build stone walls which is pretty good uh, pretty big deal because he can he ha he could make a keep here and also he has enough stone that he can make like almost two keeps more but if the game does stabilize which might happen but b is out of food so if marine lord keeps pushing He'll actually break him, but um, if the game does stabilize, he's gonna need to stonewall. And maybe Marine Lord, you can see here. This is this is how pro players think, by the way. You don't really think. This is just like reaction. So Marine Lord is not pushing duo anymore, right? He's not pushing through and pushing on top. He's trying to do a big push on top into the food line. So you can see he's rallying everything there, and the bottom side he's now securing it. Because he does not want to get run by into his base. So now he's going to stonewall this. Uh, I'm surprised he doesn't have a keep on the middle, by the way. Uh, maybe he just wants to get this gold and get out. And now, even though B stabilized, now comes like the, the main uh, big push. Although I feel like this is maybe not enough units. Like, he needs to... Okay, three rams will break this keep, or at least do a lot of damage to it. Now, there's more horsemen, and this is where Chinese hand cannoneers are very, very strong. So, hand cannoneers got 42 damage, 5.5 tile range. And Streltsy have 42 damage, but 4 range. So, you can see where the problem lies. Now, Streltsy are cheaper, but... When you're in a situation where you both have, like, quote-unquote, infinite amount of resources, engineers are gonna win, right? Like, them being cheaper is important right now, but it's not gonna be important in, like, 10 minutes. Um, oh, Fire Lancers are coming out, and this is where things can go very wrong for, for Roost Player. Once the Rams start breaking Marine Lord's walls, then fire lancers might demolish everything and actually the strong so i tried this against marine lord uh, this was in the group stage when i played against him oh by the way i didn't go for coffee i went for coke i don't feel like coffee um uh when i played uh against marine lord and i tried to do run buys i was actually doing all right but what stopped the run buys is not actually defending run buys it was pushing straight at my base because i couldn't afford to have 30 supply running around um, and I had to defend. So you can see right now, same thing is happening, right? You can see Fire Lancers and someone might be like, why is he not running by? Well, if they went around, the Marine Lord would insta push into this keep and kill it. So, but I feel like this is a pretty rough situation uh, now for Marine Lord. Because I do feel that B did stabilize. And I'm not sure what the plan is for Baboon. 
64 on food. That might be too many on for Marine Lord. What's his Boonty? It has to be 500 because he has um, high trade hearts. Yeah, that's way too many. He needs like 50, 50, 55 is enough for Roos because you also have increased gathering. Um, so yeah, I need to open the can with a uh, fork. People were making fun of me the other day. It's because it was in the fridge, so it's like all fucking... There's water all over it, and it's slippery, and I have no nails, all right? So don't laugh at me. Now, Marine Lord can go for this as well. He can play defensive, like he can pretend like I'm um, the defender now. Uh, with sacred sides, but obviously that, that ain't happening. And I, I think this is now becoming... Uh, like one thing that I failed when I played this matchup against Marine Lord. First of all, I was uh, a lot more behind than B was because I lost um, some workers and I had more. Uh, my TC was delayed. Uh, so going into Castle and Imperial, I was very much behind. This game B stabilized and now. Uh, well, if Fire Lancer. Oh, he just killed all his spearmen. I'm surprised he's not repairing Barb. Um. Now, Fire Lancers will find an opening, right, eventually. Because Marine Lord does not have- Yo, Marine Lord just bought stone! Yo, let's go, chimp! He just bought- Marine Lord's gonna go for wonder. And that's a very early decision, by the way. That is like a 40-minute purchase, and I like it. So Marine Lord says, I'm not beating China in the late game, which... He's not, right? If you're ahead compared to China and you're like pushing size, you can beat China. But if the game is like this, stabilized, you're not gonna beat China. So... I'm surprised he's not going with Siege, by the way. Like, he has very little Siege, like one Mango now. When, when he played against me, he pushed straight through the middle with like 3-4 Mangoes and like 6-7 Springles. Uh, so... He's saying, I'm not gonna beat uh, China late game. So what he does is he purchases stone immediately before B gets to buy any. And now he just needs to wait for the gold with traders. How many traders? 25, he needs more traders. He needs to, uh, okay, his worker count is nicely split between these two, but he needs more traders. Okay, he's making them. He needs like 40 traders. Um, I really like this decision, by the way. But the question is, he spent a lot of gold on that decision, and you can see that he is going full defensive. Now, there is no way that B is gonna be like, oh, he's playing pass, he's going for wonder. There's just no way. Like, that's not, this is a very early wonder, and the stalemate part, when they can't kill each other, didn't even happen yet, right? So Marino is like trying to get ahead of that, basically. Now, his army comp is basically a fuck ton of stealthy. Um, and he's probably gonna go Spearman stealthy, I would assume. Okay, he's got some men in arms too. But yeah, this is the rough part now, right? Fire Lancers are punching through, and this is gonna become pretty difficult to defend. He's got every single upgrade, by the way. Fire Lancer's coming through. Yeah, like, th this is the, the problem against China. Like, Fire Lancers are so hard to catch. And uh, these rams are also just gonna, like, show up non-stop. So Marine Lord might start bleeding a lot of units. But, now this is the part where Marine Lord needs to stabilize. And when I say stabilize, he just needs to trade until 6k. And I would not be surprised if he throws on the wonder immediately. Because he has to know that the longer this game goes, he will lose, right? You can see already this side is losing some, some things, right? So he has to know, like, the longer this game goes, it's worse for me. Uh, he needs to protect this trade maybe a bit better. And he definitely needs more traders, by the way. Oh, he isn't cute, but yeah, I'm making it. So I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, if he throws down... I would probably sell wooden food and throw down the wonder immediately. Oh, that's what B's going down. That's pretty good for him. Three knobs going down. 
And this is the, the the problem with Rams. I my most hated unit is actually not even Fire Lancer. I think it's Rams. I think Rams are so dumb. <laughs> 87? Yo, he's pumping him. Yeah, this is not looking good for Marilord now at all. Not looking good at all. He's got enough for Wonder. I I gotta say, like, I think you just throw the Wonder. I know it's like, he's dying, but you're dying either way. I think you might lose, actually. I think he's dead. Okay, we caught up to the real time of the game. Basically, uh, a Marine Lord is trading way more efficiently. You can see here, he killed 140,000 resources compared to 100k. But it doesn't matter because every push that, that B does, he kills a barracks, he kills a farm, he kills a keep, you know, he kills a wall. And yeah, he's trading worse, but it doesn't matter because Marine Lord's gonna lose more and more production. And uh, he's just taking damage everywhere right now. Firelands are pretty good. Wait, you just said landmark went down. Oh, this one. Okay, I was like, what landmark did he get? So this is this is dead. I feel like this is even futile to to even attempt to defend it. Um. Again, I think if, if the wonder could have been two minutes now ticking. Because this is like, playing against China in the late game is like, the ship is sinking, okay? You got holes in the ship. So, and, and like every minute a new hole pops up. There's no point trying to plug all the holes. You're not going to do it. So you might as well try to, I don't know what the right... You know comparison is but or I don't know what metaphor I'm looking here but you got to do something now and it ain't plugging holes that's not gonna work board the enemy ship damn I just thought the ship was sinking cuz like I don't know something broke but you're you're saying there's enemy ship okay. I mean, do something, you know what I mean? As you can see, he's technically defending, right? He's defending everywhere, but he's not. Like, look, he's gonna mow down these guys, right? But here, he's gonna lose like six, five, six workers. And he's gonna lose a TC. And he kills the army, great. And then the next army comes and kills this archer range and these two houses in this hunting camp. And then next army arrives and kills his six farms. So it's just... Look, like right here. He literally just murdered a whole army. But look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six production buildings went down. Again, he's gonna lose all these fire lancers. Two traders go down. Huggers. Marine Lord's food per minute is... Gone, by the way. I mean, guys, there's a reason why Fire Lancers are getting nerfed. And, uh... They're pretty good. And they keep coming. How much do they cost? Yo, that cost is crazy. are so effective on water huh oh you mean from the ship thing I mean yeah I also don't like that marine lord is making horsemen they're literally useless in this game I think I 
I mean, it's it's easy to like. I I know this. Like, I'm I'm also uh, you know a decent player, and I I know this. Like, I'm being Twitch at right now, and it's a lot easier to commentate on the games when you're watching them. But I think he should have done what he did against me. Like, keep on the middle. Another keep here, and siege push through the middle. And then he should have held the sides like this. But instead he's trying to hold both sides with infantry and the fire lancers are just running through. So he's like not, you know what I mean? Like he's not doing anything. By the way, if he threw down the wonder, it would be like nine minutes to go. I'm just saying, I don't know why he's waiting. Fucking baboon. He has to know that this is a never-ending attack. Like, th this will never stop. B is pretty low on wood, actually. Only 23 on wood. Yeah, B has way too many traders, I think. How much? How many traders is he have? 39. I feel like 39 might be too high for China. Because of taxes. Taxes give you so much fucking gold. It's, it's insane. So I feel like maybe that's too many. I mean, B is running out of steam. You, you can kind of see it. Like, the attacks have stopped. I don't know why they stopped. Is he... He's not... He's not producing anything. I'm making grenadiers now. Okay. I actually don't like that for... Well, maybe I do, actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's not producing anything. I... Okay, he's making... I thought he DC'd for a second. Okay, B... Yo, this is funny. So, B actually stops the attacks i think i don't know if he killed his villagers or what the fuck happened but his wood income is dog shit so he's he can't keep producing rams which is why the attacks slowed down because he ran out of rams now this is the interesting part he's switching to grenadiers and he's gonna try to hold sacred sites but he doesn't know that that marine lord can literally make a wonder right now if marine lord gets this i think you insta wonder again i think you should have wondered like 10 minutes ago he he could have easily wondered obviously he's struggling on food a little bit right but i think as marine lord like right now what i'm thinking if i'm if i'm playing as marine lord i'm thinking he's gonna try to landmark snipe that's really tricky. For sure, I'm thinking he's gonna landmark snipe. Because whenever China is not showing their units, it's always gonna be Fire Lancer crap. Uh... Yo, go wonder! Oh, he doesn't have food. Right? How many villagers have food? Okay, 34. Okay, he needs way more. Is he producing villagers? He is, okay. Yeah, he realizes he needs more food. Okay, yeah. He realizes he's like fucking out of food. Repairing this would be pretty big, by the way, because B is gonna have a lot harder time taking it down. I, again, I don't really know what happened, but B had so much, and now it's like he's not fully producing, but he's also out of wood. I'm not sure if he killed, uh, uh, maybe he deleted wood villagers, I don't know, but this is not a good fight for China, like fire lancers, uh, you don't want to use them like this. Why is the game too loud? Okay. 
I was gonna say, I haven't changed my volume in like three months. I'm not sure why it's loud now. And when I yell, it's part of the stream content, you know. Uh, Naji, thanks so much for the prime. And Lucky, thanks so much for the six months. Appreciate it. Yeah, now this is looking, uh, again, very good for Marine Lord. B's food bank, I mean, his food income is crazy, like 4.5k. Marine Lord's food income is going up. He is producing villagers, but he definitely needs more. How many traders? One mistake that B did is never going for trade. This is Palisade Wall, this is Palisade Wall. He could have easily sniped the market. Now, Grenadiers are coming. Oh, nest of bees, watch out! Oh, he's got a spring over here. Oh, two springers. Now, Grenadiers are actually, if you clump up your units, they would actually demolish Strelzi, but Marine Lord is not a Pepega, so he's gonna use the C formation. And, um... I mean, Grenadiers are actually, even in this patch, soon the next patch are gonna be broken as hell. Uh, Michelle, thanks so much for three months. Appreciate it. Um, in the next match, they're gonna be absolutely busted. In this match, they're actually okay. Like, they're not terrible. They're just very expensive. Like, they're 120... 60, 60. Like, why would you make that when you can make a Fire Lancer, right? But... And they're, they're actually really good against melee units, but against Strelzi, not, not really. Or against any ranged units with someone micro. Why doesn't Marino go wonder? Well, now he doesn't have food. Uh, but I'm surprised he doesn't just buy food. I, I, I mean, again, I would buy food and just go wonder. I understand he's probably scared. Like, if I, if I spend... Oh, and, and this is the issue. You're kind of giving him time to think and, and, like, figure out stuff. And now B literally is doing what I just said. He's gonna destroy Palisade, Palisade, kill the market. He needs to stonewall this and this immediately. I don't know if he real he has to realize like there's nothing else going on the map. He needs to stonewall this. Or that's gonna be sacre bleu. Yeah, I think this is a sacre bleu. Yeah, he's going straight for the tree. And this is what I mean, yeah. Okay, he's kinda AFK. So the units are gonna arrive in time, but this market should go down. I mean, this is 17 fire lenses. For sure it goes down. Now, this is what I was saying earlier. I don't know why he doesn't do the mass siege. This is what he... Okay, this is not mass. It's five siege, right? But he's doing the thing that he did against me. Keep, which is the sky tower, mangonels, and then sprinkles to hold it. He's making a wonder over here. Okay, B does not snipe market, so that's pretty bad for B. Uh, oh, and he's taking a terrible trade here. Uh, B is, I mean. Like, these units are omega expensive. Like, again, Strelzi are cheaper, right? So, Mangonos are still alive. He didn't kill the trade. He's making this with 15 villagers. Jesus Christ. Let's go, Jim. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's fine. He doesn't have a lot of villagers. Okay, he has he has 70 villagers, but it's fine. He wants to keep up his food income, which is understandable. It's not the biggest deal. Like, 20 seconds on uh, Wonder is not going to make or break the game, right? I actually think if B kept pushing like he did, Marine Lord would have died. I, I am not... I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if he... I'm assuming he deleted villagers. And his wood income just fell down to, to shitter. Uh, and then... Uh, and then he couldn't keep producing rams. Uh... Is this getting walled off, or is this just print? Not sure. So yeah, Marine Lord now... Now, the reason why you don't want to make a wonder here, by the way, is because... Um, if you make a wonder here, then you're also giving your opponent this market, so you're gonna have to defend that. And there's a lot of food economy here, right? 
So if you make it here, then your food economy is at least untouched no matter what happens. Like, yes, some farms here, but not really, right? There's nothing on them. Uh, Fire Lancer's coming through, Monka. B is gonna go for Sacred Sight. Does Marine Lord realize? Does Baboon realize? There, I mean, he sees a keep. Sometimes when you play the game, it's like, for us, it's obvious, right? He's, yeah, he's gonna try to go for Sacred Sight Victory. But if you're playing the game, sometimes you don't connect the dots, right? Because you're, you're busy playing and you're thinking about other stuff. But he needs to, like, well, he needs to decap Sacred Sight. If he doesn't decap it, then he's gonna lose. The sacred side is 10 minutes. Oh, he's kind of trading not great right now. He does have resources to fight it. Um, he's not producing a lot for some reason. Yo, these Fire Lancers are doing work. 17 traders only. He does have 13k gold, but... That's a Monka. I think as a Marine Lord, you just go Mass Siege now. Where are his landmarks? Okay, he actually can lose landmark, by the way. Landmark slide? For sure. I mean, they're forward. Uh, maybe buying stone for a keep here would be good. Yeah, he's gonna go to the middle. Uh, I don't think he'll be able to decap that. Oh, if he manages to... Oh no, he fucked up. No! Oh no, now the villagers are gonna get... Oh. If the spearman went first, the, the spearman would have tanked the shot and the villagers would start building the wall at least a bit. Oh no, he moved it! No! Oh, this is kind of getting into scary territory actually for him. Oh, he's decapping top. Okay. B can pull villagers on top. This side, I think if, like, defending Wonder in one-on-one -on -one is really easy, by the way. Like, if you compare it to FFAs, where it's like three people are attacking one and the one still wins, yeah, this is, okay, this is game over, I think. That's a decap right there. Because you only, you, you basically need to defend, like, a mass attacking your mass. And if you actually have a lot of units and siege control, it's gonna be a lot easier than fighting on multiple sides. Not to mention that um, he's making a lot of siege butter. He's making 10 sprinkles right now. He's out of wood. He still has food. He's taking really bad trades into these two nested bees. Like, these two nested bees got so much value. It's really, really bad for him. Like right now, he just needs like men at arm, spring, uh, men at arm, stealthy, spearmen. And just Springles to kill that. Look, he's running because his Springles are not here. And he's getting pushed so far back because his Springles... I think he made six Mangonos and then started producing Springles. But this might look like very close break, but I don't think... I don't think B can break here. I might be wrong, but... He shouldn't be able to, I think. And there's no Springles still. Oh, there they are. He lost a lot of siege there. Like he lost one to two springles at the time to these two bombards. He realizes the landmark snipe potential here, which is what I said earlier. He should just buy a keep because, uh, well, if B kills these two, the game's over. So. Oh no! Oh oh oh! You're getting the tower. Yo, that might be actually hold up. Is he target firing? He's not. He is not target firing. Okay, Monka. Actually, there's still a chance for Sacred Side win, and he is getting pushed back. Where are his units? Like, I feel like these are like there's no units here. My, my dented or what? Oh, he could really use Wooden Fortress here, by the way. Extra wood. Okay, he's trying to decap. Oh my god, he keeps F2-ing his army! 
He's trying to repair this, really? No. Why? Why would you? Why would you try to repair that? Even if you repair it, it's like it doesn't matter. I mean, it's gonna get killed right away again. Bro! Oh my God! No! Yo, if he loses because of this, he literally f two them twice. He literally just f to them twice. Oh no. Oh wait, sake Oh, you're right. Sacred Side is denied. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, the, the time is good. Okay, never mind. Sacred Side is irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, this is only game one. Fucking baboons. Wait, B doesn't. <laughs> Wait, B doesn't realize. He's like making time. Wait, does he not realize? Dude, he might be like, oh, I have the sacred timer earlier, and then when Marine Lord stood on it, he didn't realize that the timer is off. Like he's not winning to the sacred side. Yeah, I don't think B realizes actually. He's making towers like he's like secure. Look, he's like securing sacred sites. So this is actually a pretty interesting turn of events because now B might not be pushing as hard because in his mind he might be like, well, I have the sacred sites, so I don't need to win. If he starts upgrading these towers, then, then we will get a confirmation that he doesn't realize. He might have realized now, right? But that's actually pretty funny. Okay, he's still building towers. Fire Lancers go through here. Marine Lord's army. Yeah, well, a lot of it was on top. I think if I'm B, I just fucking go for uh, the landmarks here. I just full dent on the landmarks. Like, I'm not even joking. I would probably pull all my villagers as well. And just right click. I would just remax and Fire Lancers. <gasps> Yo! Yo, he's got... Where are they? Am I blind? Oh, he's got them in production. Never mind. He's making 25 rams. Bro, even with just rams. He doesn't even need fire lancers. Even... He's upgrading him. Look! I don't think he realizes. Look, he's upgrading the tower. This is actually a pretty good game one. I think both players can still win. I actually think if he just right clicks the landmarks, I don't think Marine Lord can defend because Rams are so stupid. They got 554 health. Like. Like, what do you kill this shit with? Uh, bro, if these went on landmarks, the game is over, I swear. Bro, he, he doesn't realize he's making bombarding placement here. He's trying to defend the sacred site. Literally El Nosabe. Because you can see he's not trying to win the game, he's trying to kill the production. By the way, whoever loses the, or whoever wins this will have a very strong mental... Uh, uh, mental strength for the series because if your first game look he's making stone walls oh my god no he doesn't know 
Bro, he's stonewalling the sacred site. Oh my god. Oh no. Literally, El Masad. Look. That's a lot of rams, actually. 28 spearmen. He needs, like... Bro, he needs, like, bombards, Marine Lord. Or maybe maybe just sprinkles is fine. But, dude, he needs to... Look, he's not going for a landmarks because he thinks he's winning. He's not even going for wonder. I told you, he's just going for production because he doesn't realize. Oh, that's... If Marine Lord notices this, by the way... And kills these? That's the whole wood income for B. Dude, I guarantee you Marine Lord is so confused right now. I guarantee- Okay, I'm, I'm gonna speed up. I can't wait. I need to see what happens. I guarantee you Marine Lord is so confused why he's just running rams into production. This is so fucking funny. Look, he's so rolling here too! <laughs> He wants to make Marine Lord so exhausted. How? By losing the game? Yeah, that, that's gonna exhaust Marine Lord quite hard. Uh, but anyway. Um, oh, this is funny as hell. Yeah, so whoever wins this is is like mentally, that's so good for you. Because you just played on a 1 hour 20 game. And Marine Lord knows he shouldn't have won this. I think... The start was okay for him, and then he kind of fucked it up, right? He knows, like, okay, I should not have won this matchup in the late game. Look, he's not going for- bro, he literally doesn't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. He has no clue that the sacred site is... He's not on time. Oh, maybe he realizes now. Oh, maybe he realizes now, because now he's a Yeah, I think he realizes, because now he's trying to get to the wonder. Uh oh. Wait, what? Did you just F2 when it was one hit away? Uh oh. Uh oh. He, yeah, he definitely knows now. If you look, you can see how his behavior changed, right? He's, he's going for the wonder. Oh, bro. Marine Lord's like, no! Wow. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. If I lost this, I would literally... I would literally tilt so hard I would fall off this chair. Wow. Game one. Why on earth did he not snipe the landmark? Because he thought he is winning with Sacred Sight. Which, by the way, even if you are, why wouldn't you just attempt to snipe him? I just got confirmation that B typed in the chat. GG, I didn't see notification only in third minute. Did he not see that there's a wonder at all? I don't know if he means the Sacred Sight compared to wonder or he didn't see wonder. Which would also make sense why he thought he's winning with Sacred Sight. <laughs> can believe be pulled a viper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I want to show you guys regarding... Um, these are the maps. So what was played just now? Pit. So that was just played. And now they're playing Mountain Clearing. And if you look at the sieves, I think Marine Lord has way better sieves. Uh, I, I, I'm not... Like, I don't know... Like, if I'm, Mar if I'm in this match, I prefer Marine Lord's lineup way more. So, he's got French HRE and he can play Delhi, right? Delhi actually Omega beats Abbasid and Omega beats English. If I'm Marine Lord, so now they're playing on Mountain Clearing and it's English versus French, right? So, if I'm Marine Lord, or sorry, English versus HRE. If I'm Marine Lord in game three, I actually pick Delhi. I think. Because Ottoman and Abbasid are decent against French, but Delhi... 
is i mean b does play optimum so i don't know it's kind of rough after watching your video about apm i realized how stupid i was acting blaming everything except my mistakes thank you beastie that sounds like a like a that sounds like it might be true but it might be a meme as well if it's true i'm i'm glad i was able to help you no true okay if it wasn't true then fucking apm am i right that, that's the one thing i always tell people by the way whenever people are like coping and uh, we see english boy uh whenever people are coping about like apm or like this or that it, like i always tell them guys you're lit no one cares you know what i mean like no one gives a fuck on ladder no one gives a fuck on the discord you're playing on ao4 wow i'm losing because of this no one cares doesn't matter if it's apm or your head hurt or your leg hurt no one cares the, the faster you stop coping, the faster you will start improving. It's okay. Just when you lose a game, say I fucking play like shit that game. I didn't lose because of a sieve. I didn't lose because something was broken. I play like shit. And it's okay to, to say like, I played bad that game. I think that's fair. Because then you know what you can work on. Why did you play bad? I did this bad or that bad. But if you're like, oh, I'm... Oh, I'm really good. I'm just slow. It's just pure copium. Just stop. It's okay to be bad. It is. No, but I always say that and people think I'm like trying to be funny. I, I generally think that it's it's okay to be bad. Even terrible. It's completely okay. It's better to be terrible than to think you're good. Because being good is very relative, right? It depends um, compared to who. Now, I usually go for survival techniques, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. I go for it because I have it for the boar and the deer after, but maybe it's not worth it. Because you do delay your feudal. Now, this spawn, uh, pretty good for marine. I mean, this is the, uh, this is El Marine Lord classic right here. He's got bad shit insane spawn. The, this is Marine Lord playing. I can confirm. So all Marine Lord needs to do is put a tower here, and that's a free castle. I'm not liking the deer. Uh, they're, they are not in range of this chapel. Chapel goes up to here. So these deer are outside of the chapel range. That's part of the reason why Vortex and Lustrum put their chapel here, so the chapel is around the TC. But if he just puts a tower here, literally, I'm not even memeing the game is like so good for Marine Lord, and he is gonna need to wall this, right? I would even put multiple walls here. Like did this. we lost on semi final against B? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh. I'm not, I'm not gonna call this a spawn win, but I, I have a hard time seeing how Marine Lord loses this unless he plays like an absolute fucking shit. Also, um, there's a potential that Longbows come through here, by the way. Marine Lord also might go 2 TC, by the way. I just realized that. Okay, he's going Archer range, so he's just gonna defend, actually. Okay. Interesting. I think most players would just put a tower. I would probably put like a mini wall here, but even that's kind of scary. Maybe even double tower, just say fuck it and double tower. Tower here, because ta um, TC range is right there, right? So longbows can't sneak in and stand here and shoot at the gold. Did I expect B to perform so well? I mean, I think he played well, but I played really bad yesterday. Like, if you look at through my games, I made I made a lot of mistakes. Like, compare my games yesterday to my games today against Lucifer. It's like different players. Do, 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 do. 
So yeah, I'm not I'm not really satisfied. Not because I got third place. Obviously, getting a third place is not a good thing. But I'm not really satisfied uh, because of how I played. It's um, it's like a feeling when you know you can do better, but you didn't. Um, you know. So that part sucks because it's like there's nothing I can do now about it. And the fact that I played. Uh, so well against Lucifer today it makes me feel even worse about yesterday's games because uh, yeah. Like today against Lucifer I legit made zero mistakes But yeah, like I think B micro'd well, I think he played well, you know um, His micro in fights was definitely a lot better like I kept I, I, I literally kept, um, uh, like, instead of clicking, like, Spearman, I was clicking on Knights with Archers. Um, instead of, like, A moving, I would right-click on a unit. There was a lot of, like, mistakes like that in, in fights that everyone makes, I think, but I don't usually make that many. I couldn't play when you position armor like that in the little strength. I mean, yeah, I just, I just didn't play well, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is, brother. We'll get him next time. Your right tree on Rocky Cannon was the best comeback I've seen. The thing is, you know what's funny about that game? I won that game, a tree versus Malian, that is extremely Malian favored. And I won that game, and I was like, ugh. I literally... Had a sigh of like disgust with how bad I played even that game. Like right after the game. I wasn't like, yeah, baby, I won that. I was like, eh. Cause even that game I was I was just I was misclicking a lot. <sighs> and uh, like I think I think mental state for like long series when you win a game and you're not happy even with that is pretty rough one right all right so we see baboon uh, we see an interesting turn of events actually let's get back into the game because nothing happened be going center white tower now he can't marine lord is too many units so what we got is B wanted to make units. B for sure wanted to, I think, all in, but he didn't expect Marine Lord to make this many units and commit. So now, Marine Lord is actually behind on Castle Aja quite a bit. Um, but he still has pressure, so it's actually not that bad because. Wait, what? What? Can he not move through there? There's no way. That's. He can move through there. Yeah, you can see it on the map. He just went back. So, now B aged up first, but even though he aged up first, it, it doesn't actually matter. Like, when HRE ages up, you gotta do something, like, e immediately. But English aging up is not that big of a deal. Because, like, look look at his resources. He can't make stables. He has only uh, council hall, right? He doesn't have enough for monastery. It doesn't really matter, is my point. Yeah, he's got no upgrades. Like, I mean, I'm surprised that Marine Lord didn't get any. But I guess Marine Lord was so focused to, like, not die that he actually just... Look, he just went full army upgrades. Because he was so worried that, that... I mean, he was worried that English is going to do, like, the, the usual English thing you do on this map, which is just massing units. Now, B is on 2TC, Marine Lord is going to be on Regnitz, which is going to be obviously better for a bit. And I was actually discussing this yesterday with him in HRE versus China on this map. HRE 
can take relics and then it can actually ignore middle and go Swabia. And this is the strength of HRE. If he takes the relics, he actually doesn't need to make units because he has so many. He can just upgrade them, not let B capture the middle. Because he's on 2 TC, he's going to be spending a lot of resources building up because the English economy is not very good and he has no eco upgrade. So this is like, this might look like good for me, but it's not, not at all. So if Marine Lord actually just makes few knights, upgrades his archers and goes straight to Imperial, he's going to have a massive lead because he's going to have bombards. That's what I would do. Yeah, he just needs to not let him capture the I don't think even capturing the sacred side matters, by the way. And now, yeah, HRE archers, they got the movement speed. Killing scout is big. He should target that. Yeah, that's big. Like, this, this is really bad for English. He's got three relics. B didn't take the middle relic, by the way. I don't know why. He went for a sacred side capture. He's gonna yoink that. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh, Marine Lord's not gonna fight. That's a bit weird. Right, he should go for it. Maybe he's waiting for the upgrade. Yeah, so if I'm Marine Lord, I actually just go Imperial here. But he's gonna run out of food, so he needs to actually uh, get that under control. But yeah, this is really bad. Like, English's economy is busted right now, and not in a good way. Look, he's running out of food as well. So he's either going to go berries or farms, which is equally terrible. Marine Lord is not producing anything, so he is going Imperial. <clears throat> which is uh, uh, the best choice he can make in this situation. Marine Lord will not even attempt to capture the middle. And that's the right choice. He should take this Prelate and put it on... Um, I, I don't think he should even bother with taking the middle. He can try, I guess. But I don't think he should. I think he should just say fuck it and he should just uh, go boost his uh, berry villagers. He has one prelate there, he can put another. Oh, he made another prelate actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go Imperial. This game is over. Like there's no way that English wins here. Marino is getting wheelbarrow now. He needs to, uh, he needs to, these villagers are idle. He needs to make, uh, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 47 versus 41 and three uh, uh, Regnets. Yeah, this is over. Have you thought about being a four analyst for the big tournaments that you don't play? Well, I play all of them. And, uh, This, this tournament is the first one in like nine months that I didn't make it to the finals. So, kick W. It's hard. But if there's a tournament, I always play it. And I can't, like now I'm commentating on everything by the way. Like everything that I actually think and I'm not trying to hide anything because I'm out of the tur Like the tournament is over for me. So I don't mind revealing like all the info and, and stuff like that. Usually even when I analyze my games, I try not to like say like, oh, this Civ is the best on this map because people might, players that I might play against might watch that and be like, oh, he thinks this is the best. Is this my only job? Yes. I've been uh, competing in video games for 13 years now. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to try to hype it. This game's over. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to just watch that. Um, like there, there's simply nothing that this is going to be like one bombard. If, if one bombard comes out, what is B going to kill it with? He literally cannot kill a Bombard, because he's got only ranged units.
My archers with HRE. Uh, well, because he went horseman, so the opponent went spear. Like opponent usually goes spear, so you go archers. <clears throat> yeah, bombards coming out, and there is literally nothing for that. Uh, he's also getting uh, elite archers, which are gonna be pretty nice. He's got plus two armor. This might be a little annoying, but it doesn't matter. Like even if he loses all these workers here, it, he has Sabia, so it's whatever. Yeah, and now this bombard has no counter. <clears throat> There's elite archers coming through. That's gonna be pretty annoying. He kills Springles with Archer. He made a mango now. He needs a... He needs like Springles or uh, Culverins or something. He's making Culverins. He's out of food. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, ben, thanks so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Sabrina, thanks so much for the 11. Welcome back. Yeah, the, I mean, there's not much to say, guys. This game is over, I'm sorry. Like, this game was over uh, at like five minutes when B decided to rush castle. I feel like basically what happened in this game, my, my uh, professional gamer analysis, is B just experienced what I experienced yesterday on this same map. I never played China versus English from China point of view. So I just fucking completely dented and had no units and died. And I don't think he's ever played against HRE that masses archers on mountain clearing. So he was like, ooh, I'm gonna do a five head and I'll rush castle. And that's definitely not the right play as you can see. So this is, you can see the first game was very competitive, very like back and forth, right? And this game is actually so extremely one-sided and this comes down to B being in a situation that he's probably never played in before. And you can see how one-sided it is. The Culverins one-shot Springles, yes. It's a destruction, yeah. I mean, th this was... Yeah. I mean, like I said, Marine Lord had really good spawn. Um, I, I don't think B really knew that you can't... Like, you cannot go with um, what he did against Aturi. That's just not going to work. Uh, the next map is going to be Wood Wall. So, Wood Wall is the next map. And then the, the, the these six maps are remaining. And then the players are going to be redrafting. So, now the next civilizations they're playing are Abbasid versus French. And then they are going to be redrafting again for civs each. Do I like the redraft style? It's really weird how it played out. I guess it's always by the, the at the start of the tournament, it's always cool. But by the end of the tournament, it's like everything's figured out in a way. So the matchups are always the same, I feel like. Like you keep seeing the same matchups over and over. Um, so it's like. Player A bans Malians, player B bans Malians, player A picks Rus, player B picks, like, like, it, it depends what the other player plays. So, for example, against me, I almost never got to play HRE in the tournament because players always pick it against me because they want to play it. But not so much for that, but to not let me play it, right? 
So I never got to play HRA, for example. So against me, it would be like, I ban Malian, they ban Malian, I pick Rus, they pick HRE and like French or China or English. Let's say they pick HRE French and then I pick China English. So it's like so much of my practice was me literally playing like Rus English China, Rus French China, Rus French English. And we almost never ever saw Delhi Ottoman or um, Mongol. So I like the system, but I think my favorite system out of like, I don't think it's a bad system or anything, right? I think it's, it still provides good games and strategizing. In my opinion, the best system is for me personally, like the one that I like the most is if you're playing a best of seven, you know, the order of the seven maps, and then you just, you, you each have like one ban, right? Or two bands, whatever you can make three bands. I don't care. And then you just have one pick, right, per map, and that's it. Because that, I think that system is the best to show every sieve. Because this, uh, this system, you basically only needed to play five, six sieves at at best. Six, you actually don't need more. Because Malian was always banned, so you needed to learn how to play English, French, Rus, China, HRE, and um, Abbasid. And that's it. So you could literally have zero clue how to play Malian, Delhi, Mongol, and Ottoman, and you would you would do just fine. So that's the one thing that I dislike about this. Like I like the system. The part I dislike is that we don't get to see every sieve. Which tournament had the draft system you mentioned? Uh, I don't remember, but a lot of tournaments had it actually. But I, the reason I like that system is because. You have to pre-plan your sieves. So for example, if you have seven maps and you know I'm playing this map first and this map, then this map, then this map, you can you you need to pre-plan which sieve you're gonna pick on which map, or at least be aware, like, oh, if I pick this sieve here, I can play it on this map. Yeah, and for C had it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Well and for C had losers pick, but you knew the seven maps, right? So you knew the starting map and you knew the, the other six maps, but the loser picked the next map. But you could, it's a, still the same thing. You can pre-pick in your mind the, the sieves for each map. And that way you get to see almost all the sieves. So that's the that's why I like that system more. But I like the system too. Because we, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, guys. I... This term has been going for four weeks. I haven't played Ottoman once in the turn. I haven't played it on ladder once because I didn't practice it at all. Delhi, I played, I think, twice or three times. Abbasid, I played like twice, maybe, maybe three times. I don't know. And then Mongol, I think I played twice and I have played like probably 45 games, 50 games. So yeah. All right, French versus Ab Acid. Okay, this game is boiling down to these berries right here. If B gets TC here, that's really fucking good for him. If he doesn't, he he's straight up fucking dead. Why is Delhi never picked? Well, Delhi used to be considered a counter for... Um, oh, that's pretty bad. You ran out of sheep, fucking boo-boo. Uh, Delhi used to be considered a counter to French and Rus, but uh, these days, French and Rus counter Delhi. Because of prolonged feudal, the knights are just better. Like, the more knights you have, the scarier they get. And... Um, like, Delhi loses to French and Rus. Uh, Delhi loses to HRE and China. It, it loses really bad to China. It has an unfavorable matchup against HRE. And those are four sieves that are played a lot. So, the only sieves that you would actually want to play Delhi into are Abbasid and English. And, like, Mongol. 
and Mongol is not really played too much. So, Abbasid is not necessarily like a bad sieve, it just has more uh, bad matchups than good matchups, basically. Guys, all the questions for my series against B, I am not going to discuss the B series while I'm casting this series. So, yeah. I hope you understand that I'm also getting the same question every six minutes, so I cannot repeat the same answer even if I wanted to every six minutes. I will discuss it after this is done. Boom. Because people are asking in the chat, and I'm not mention, mentioning anything about it. People are just, they keep tagging me and asking about it. I'll talk about it another time. Now we got grand finals. Alright, military wing. Coming right up. And, uh... Marine Lord's age up is a bit late. But that's because he ran out of sheep, I think. Yeah, if I don't answer your question, spamming it is not going to make me answer it. I, I, I can read, I just... Uh, you know. Kek double. I know you think I can't, but actually I can read. It's true. So what do we have? B is going aggro with the first four units. Uh, and Chimp is... Going for a night, probably two nights, I would assume. Yeah, I can read, guys. Come on. Stop. I swear I can read. Guys, come on. Oh, B went no wheelbarrow. Yo, he's gonna yolo it. He's gonna hunt. Dude, he's gonna put it here. Dude, he's gonna yolo it. 100%. Right here. And Marine Lord doesn't... See, this is the thing, man. He, he is 100% yelling it here. I guarantee it. If Marine Lord actually sends his knight... Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, he, dude. The villagers were going like this. Do you guys see that path? And then he saw the two knights and he changed it. This might be like... He's trying to run away so Marine Lord doesn't intercept it. And Marine Lord realizes, uh oh. Oh no. I think he's gonna finish it. He might lose a villager, but he's gonna finish it. He was 100% gonna build that shit here. Marine Lord sees this now. And he's like, you mother trucker. I mean, it's just so greedy. Like, your first TC being on the middle of the map between your opponent is so fucking. It's not only greedy if, if he, like, kept the Spearman Archer here, but he wanted to do damage and get a TC. He 100% was gonna make it here, by the way. And the thing is, when this works, it's great, you know, uh, you get a, f a fat TC here, you secured everything, but when it doesn't work, I mean, you're gonna see what's gonna happen now. Why didn't he just keep units around there? Well, because he's greedy. Like, that's how B plays, you know, and when it works, he gets really far ahead, and when it doesn't, he gets really far behind. And right now, this is a terrible spot. He has one Spearman. He has no upgrades, he has no gold, no wheelbarrow, Marine Lord is on the second TC, Marine Lord is ahead on workers. Like, this is really, really bad. But the thing is, when plays like this work out, they look amazing. They look like, uh, you know, wow, he's so far ahead and then he demolishes the opponent, right? But when it doesn't work, well, you'll see what it looks like. He's got one villager installed, that's probably a mistake. Yeah, Marine Lord knows now 
Oh, uh, he's gathering for a tower, right? Marine Lord now knows that he has done a good amount of damage. Two workers in a pro game is really good damage. Oh no, bro, you don't know. There's no. Oh my god. Does he see it? Chimp? He doesn't see it. Like, this is also so uh, Monka S. But Marine Lord doesn't see it. Like, that could have been another 3, 4, 5 workers gone. Marine Lord still doesn't see it. Um. So yeah, Marine Lord should know that, that he can do like a massive, massive push now. And punish this. Also, when you're Abbasid, you don't want to stay 2 TC against 2. Like, that. that's a losing game. If you look at the worker count, this is about to get worse and worse because French produces faster. Um, so you need to get 3 TC as Abbasid. Yeah, he's gonna 100% just full dent into this TC. What he's probably gonna do is maybe send like 1, 2, 3 more knights here, harass this side, and then just full dent into this. Because if you get TC on this side, then you put 10 villagers and you're still gathering food. But if TC is on this side, if Marine Lord keeps pushing like from here downwards, then all the berries are denied. Yeah, this is uh, another villager. Four villagers down. This is the same knight, by the way, that killed all four. Oh no! Wolf! Ah! Yo, that wolf was about to eat that booty. He got ram upgrade already. Ah, uh, Marine Lord's macro is a bit off. He has too much food now. Earlier he had no food. And he researched rams first, but he has no... No wood. But like I said, he's gonna send a few more knights on the bottom side, and he should send this knight back to heal. Yeah. So what he wants to do is like keep him busy in his base, and then build up one two rams and just hit this place really hard. And again, this is one of those things where this game looks even, right? Forty two to forty six, forty three to forty six. You can say like, oh, it's it's pretty equal. B has two more units, but this is, or at the pro level, this is a, a huge lead for Marine Lord. Because the reason why it's a huge lead is because usually the games in this matchup, Abbasid is on 3 TC and didn't lose workers. So, yeah. Uh, Marine Lord is checking for wood line, which is pretty smart. He, like, he has spears everywhere, right? But. You should be able to get damage done. There's the ram. B's trying to scout. I think B might be trying to scout how many TC's Marine Lord is on. Yeah, you can see he's sending it there. Oh. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Losing a knight and a scout. He didn't get the charge off. The both knights auto attacked these two guys twice, but they didn't charge. Another villager. Yeah. Four spearmen here, by the way. Um, he's getting the iron undermash. He could have gotten that. Yeah, this. I mean. He got the uh, textiles now, but oh, and now the tree line is exposed too. Yo, he's pushing out so far. He's got three spearmen. Reynolds seems a bit distracted. I don't know where. He's macro. Like, he can actually just fight this. Marine Lord, right? Four knights versus uh, seven spears. He has more here, but it was seven total.
I was talking about uh, this last night with Baboon, and I told him like, Bees Abbasid is not bad, but he will greed out for castle. I mean, when I played against him, he got castle way too fast and he cut so many units. And I, I just told him as long as you keep pushing and not let him like greed out, or if he does greed out, he just dies, you'll be more than fine in this, if you get this matchup, which, which happens pretty often. So you can see, like just mass pushing here uh, is going to be pretty rough for B to hold. A bit surprised that, okay, I was going to say, a bit surprised that he's not sending more knights to the bottom. Because he should know that uh, this wood line is gone, so he has to be here or here. In which case, should be harassable either way. Oh. Oh. Oh, are you guys ready to see destruction? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Nine knights. If he goes here. Oh, brother. Oh, he's going to the bottom side. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. No, he sends one here. Oh no! <laughs> he keeps changing his mind. Oh, he doesn't know, dude. If he sent his nine knights here, he would dent in these villagers so fucking bad. I mean, he's still gonna dent them, right? But now B is pushing, and Bringo might get caught off guard here. I mean. 39 archers against 26 archers. If Marimor just fights, even with the extra health for Abbasid, it doesn't matter. The villagers go down. Oh, micro, micro. Yeah, this is, uh... I'm so surprised he doesn't go here. He's checking food. Did he not realize? Maybe he didn't realize. Like, maybe he didn't see. Like, actually see that there's villagers here. But he should have. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my god, look at this wood count. Wait, he has no food. Yeah, he has, he's not producing anything. His food count is really bad. B's eco is uh, a little monk ass as well. Marineward is playing like super scared right now. Which he's usually like comfortable in these kinds of situations, but he's playing very like, oh shit. And I'm not sure why, like these knights, I'm not sure why they're not like just YOLO raiding more. He did get a lot of kills, don't get me wrong, he got 14 kills. He's 20 vill 22 villagers ahead, which is like fucking insane. Usually it's the opposite, like usually Abbasid is ahead in villagers. Not maybe by 20, but... Okay. Ooh. That's a lot of spearmen actually, fuck? Hmm. Um... <laughs> he sees that uh, they're kind of chopping through, so he's making a tower, just as a little bit of a safety. A lot of archer ranges. I mean, he he made more archer ranges because he realizes that B is, has no horsemen. So if he actually just makes pure archers, he actually wins. And he's going farms already, even though he has some food remaining. I mean, with the amount of wood that he does have, I guess it's not the end of the world.
knights are still roaming. Like, these knights roaming here is very important. Because they can deny a lot of stuff. Oh, B should definitely let uh, Spearman tank this, by the way. Like, I know you don't want to let Spearman tank archers, but in this situation, you do. Because... Marine Lord has more archers, so you need to trade out your spearmen for archers so your archers can beat archers on their own. Archers, archers, archers. They're about to chop through in a moment. Fifty-one on wood, holy shit. He's kinda struggling for food a little bit. I mean he is producing, but Oh, he's going for the wood line. He's getting the upgrade for the tower. I don't I don't think B can push in here. I mean he can push in, obviously, but I don't think it's gonna be a good one. Bro, look at Abbasid Spears. <laughs> Looking at us in spears, dude. They're throwing Molotov cocktails in the tower. Merlord's having a lot of macro mistakes. Like, he's been floating like one and a half to two K wood the whole game. And now he's losing uh, a lot of workers. He's still ahead in workers. Like, this is a. Uh, Full uh, committal from B, right? I mean, he can't just play the game and hope it works. He has to do something, right? And, uh, well, I don't think this is gonna work. Like, th again, this is one of those where I think it might look bad for Marine Lord, but now there's no counters for Knights, so this is gonna be. Or this should be a cleanup. At least. These villagers are going on food. Uh, Marine Lord, uh, where's his gold? Okay, he just started mining fresh gold. He has a lot of idols here. Okay, fixed it. I mean, th this is pretty bad for me. Like, both players now need to focus on the wood lines. And if, if Marine Lord makes, like, a tower or two... I mean, both players should make a tower or two and then get some stone and upgrade him. And then just focus on the middle. It's gonna be pretty rough for either player to win. Because, I mean, that's where all the wood is, right? Oh! And B is now going horseman, by the way. Which. He will not have food to sustain. For a very long time. He has this deer pack. This deer pack as well. Like he got a shit ton of food by the way from these berries. Like he got so much fucking food. But horsemen require a lot of food to produce, so I'm not sure if he will be uh, able to. Uh... Bro, what is that range? What the fuck? He hasn't mined any gold now, in a minute now? Yeah, I mean, he's fully committing, right? His whole game plan seems to be to take control of this middle and not let Marino get wood, but he's aging up. And when this age up comes through and the upgrades come through, that's gonna be pretty rough one. I mean, again, from, you know, I, I always like to say this because if you look at this game, most of the game, it was like even, like, when I mentioned earlier, it was like an even worker count, even military count, but in my eyes, 
the game was over like <laughs> six minutes into the game. Like technically, Abbasid or, or B could have won, right? But only if Mariller makes mistakes. And at the top level, those kinds of throws don't really happen. So, yeah. And by the way, if you're wondering why B just didn't go 3TC, if he went 3TC, he would have been dented even harder because he had no defense against knights and he lost the military wing army right on start, so yeah. Archer upgrade's about to hit. Boop, boop. And that's gonna be it, brother. Marine Lord's gonna be up 3 0, and uh, well, coming back from a 3 0 deficit is pretty rough in a best of seven or nine, so I think my prediction for a 5 0 or 5 1 is looking pretty good right now. I would be very surprised uh, if. if B mentally manages to recover here. gathering stone somewhere right here I mean yeah if you would make a keep here GG Reno Al Pacino Cappuccino 4 row and reverse sweep that would be very impressive a reverse sweep from a 4 row Why no raids through the middle? Because he knows he's ahead. He doesn't need to raid. He just needs to have a main army fight. And it's the same reason why he's making a keep here and not here or here. It's because he knows he just needs to not die right now and he wins the game. So, yeah. Like, he's killing all the production here, so... So yeah, this is a uh, game over. <laughs> you know what's also funny? When I play against B on Wetlands, this matchup, he went military wing to harass and then went barracks behind it and made spears to defend it and upgraded the spear so the spears attacking were also upgraded which i thought was pretty good but this game he skipped the barracks and tried to sneak in a, a super forward tc and it costed him two villagers archers left i mean the game's over Oh, that is a cruster right there. Damn. All right, GG. All right, we got a new draft. Here it is, official, exclusive for you guys. This is, this draft is not showing up anywhere in the world except my screen. The matchup, hold on, let me see the map actually. The next map we're playing is High View. High View. And the matchup is, yo, this is gonna be a four hour game. I had my volume up now. I don't know what my neighbors are thinking. Hey, shout out to the neighbors. <coughs> These are the matchups. This is the second draft. So now B gets to pick first. Okay, so 
I'll give you guys a little bit of a, what happened in my games. So when I was second, I was like, he's gonna ban Malian, so I'll ban Roos. And then he banned Roos, and I banned Roos, and he got Malian. <laughs> Is it hard to prepare to play someone like B? Um, I mean, B is like a so B is like a player that when you play him the first if you're the first one playing him it's a lot harder than playing him second because all the stuff he did against me whether it was weird or whatever Marine Lord saw right and Marine Lord and I discussed so now there's no more like shenanigans he can do like you can't change up your whole style in one day so Marine Lord knows exactly like B plays this sieve like that, he plays this sieve like that, he plays that sieve like that. But when you play him the first time, because he plays a lot differently, you don't really know what to expect. So it can be a lot harder. But once you play him once, and then if you have to play him, or once someone plays him like, like me yesterday, and then you play him today, it becomes a lot easier. Whereas I think like if you play against Marine Lord, it's not like, oh, I've seen Marine Lord makes knights with friends, so tomorrow's gonna be easier. He's just like more solid. Alright, here we go, brothers. Does that scene what he does not work when he plays against someone like Vortex? Um I mean games against Vortex were I mean, they were good to watch, but he, he, I, I would say he takes a lot more risks when he plays against like top top players than when he plays yeah, against yeah. like when he played against in round robin, he didn't play, he played more straight up as in like didn't do any tricky shit. So, yeah. What the fuck just happened? Oh, I see what happened. I was like, why did he not have food? Oh my god, look at the worker count. Bro, what did he do? Wait, oh no. What an idiot. He went for scout into imperial official. And he had, um, he didn't have enough food. To make a villager so instead of being a villager behind well he is supposed to be two villagers behind because imperial official and scout but if you look at the production queue wait did b have idle time too oh he has idle time on his tc hello 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 You're supposed to be two full workers ahead as Roost right now. And Marine Lord had idle time in his TC. So B had idle time or basically a full villager on his TC. <clears throat> so that's not good. Like, you see this 11 to 12? This should be 10 to 12, 11 to 13, 12 to 14 the whole time until a second TC or song comes through. So the fact, like... The fact that they both idled is actually really good for Marine Lord. You should just surrender now then? I mean, I know you're memeing, but this is a very big deal. Like, uh... Workers have exponential impact on the economy. Like, it's a lot more impactful if you lose a worker at 8 villagers than when you lose a worker at 80 villagers, for obvious reasons. Because the percent... A higher percentage of your economy was lost so he basically skipped the worker when he was 10 so he basically just shot off 10% of his eco in the moment obviously as the game goes that's gonna be smaller and smaller but this has a massive impact on the game right now if he adds like stables at 425 it should have been up uh, you know or like let's say he should have made a building at five minutes now, because that worker was gone, he's gonna have 80 resources less for like the two minutes the worker was gone. 
So that building goes up at like 512. And because that building is at 512, then that night is gonna be delayed 12 seconds. It, it snowballs quite heavily. Yeah, Marine Lord missed the supervision of first drop off. I saw that too. So these things matter a lot. Again, I, I know it might sound like not like a big deal, but it is a big deal. Also, if he's going for uh, TC straight away, B, right? Uh, his TC will be delayed by 80 resources, which might be like, let's say 20 seconds, which then he lost another villager because his TC is delayed. Idle villagers. I mean, I think B played uh, very good for like compared to the other games. I think he played first game very well, but you can see he mentally just kind of disconnected after that game. You can see he's playing a lot worse. Making a lot of mistakes. Wait, what? Wait, he never got this. Wait, what is the Buntia? Three fucking scouts? 235. Okay, I mean, as long as he gets 250, it's it's fine, right? It doesn't matter. This Kremlin, by the way, is really good. That's a juicy Kremlin. B got really good position. Um, spawn, I mean. But it doesn't it doesn't matter in this matchup, actually. Uh, because Rus is usually the aggressive one. But if... If Marine Lord spawn in B spot is Chinese, this would be like fucking broken spawn. Because he can just wall here, wall here, and he gets deer, deer berries in the back of the base. So, but it won't matter. I mean, it's always nice to have resources in the back rather than forward, obviously, but it doesn't really matter in this matchup. Um. Oh wow! Wait, I, I just realized this. Marine Lord went spearman. I don't. Yeah, Marine Lord didn't scout at all, by the way, because he was uh, stuck fighting with the deer here. So he didn't scout at all. And B usually goes for stables first and then into DC. So he made barracks, but there's actually no spearman or no uh, knights. So this was kind of. It's not wasted, it's just, you know, he could have gotten a second TC faster. Kind of what it is. Oh yeah, this Kremlin is really nice. Covers the wood line here, the wood line here, deer, gold, stone. So, that's a good spawn. But regarding spawns, I think Marine Lord has a pretty good spawn. Uh, I wonder where he's gonna TC. Probably here. I mean, okay, he doesn't have a. Yes, I don't like this Barbican. Uh, maybe he didn't want to risk it to put it farther away because of gremlins, but a Barbican here would be a lot better. And then he can wall this. Barbican protects this wall here, and he's safe. But uh, his food is very spread out, so that's really bad for Marine Lord. Like, berries forward, deer very far, boar very far. These deer are very good. These berries are so-so. I mean, they're exposed. He's gonna TC here, I think, yeah. And B is a rushing castle. That is a castle rush if I ever seen one, brother. Or oh, actually, is it? I don't know if it is now. 1985. Maybe just light pressure into castle? I'm not really sure. Which save would you say is a macro save? Every save is a macro save. 
Except maybe like Malian. And Ottoman. I would say every civ can be played macro civ kind of thing. Oh, 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 oh. Villager go. Oh, bop, 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 bop. Yo, the chimp! Oh. And it runs away. All that and it runs away. Check that out. <laughs> that was so many workers pulled and he just fucking ran away. It's kind of funny. Where are his imperial officials, by the way? He's only got he's only got two. Interesting. I like making uh, four very early. Very early. Like by now, I have four. He has only one on the wood, and the rest is kind of spread out. Boom. Okay, B is gonna have too much gold. Is he a Russian? I'm assuming he's Russian cat. Yeah, he's Russian castle. So I, I had a good guess. So he's just doing light pressure. Okay, and th this is B right here. Is he gonna tower this with eight workers? Is he gonna go on berries? What if he proxies siege workshop? Would that be a quadrillion head or what? It's probably gonna be a tower here. And then he gets bears. And this is what I mean, like... This kind of thing, no one does except B. Because this is so fucking risky. Like... Marine Lord has enough units to actually just kill this immediately. And this is so risky. And again, when it works, it's great. But when it doesn't work... Oh god, he sees it as well. Oh, brother. Okay, Marine Lord's not reacting in time. So this will go up, I think. If Marine Lord actually reacted in time, look how many units he has. Seven, five, one. And he's, there's two knights and an archer. Two archers. So this is one of those things. He took a risk. It worked. Amazing. But if it didn't, he immediately loses the game right there. Also, it's hard for Marine Lord to maybe see... I mean, he has a scout, so he could have seen. He's reached castle. So this is kind of interesting position. So Marine Lord will be... Oh, he's making two rams. Okay, jeez. Oh, gra Ooh, castle gremlins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's going to be a... That's going to be damage right there, brother. Okay, this is... This is some interesting stuff happening. This is not how you usually play this matchup. But... It's... It's... I mean, he's doing damage right now, for sure. Although the gremlins all did just go down. But he is doing damage. For sure. Now, Marine Lord is gonna struggle for food. Oof, 205. Going for the boar. Sucking up those berries. Uh, no monastery, by the way. That's something that he could have gotten. And um, he could have been taking relics the whole time. Jimby, one, two. Two workers go down. Oh no! So remember how I said when you take a risk like that, it, you know it, it like it worked out and all that. Well, he's about to lose eight workers. 
Oh, he got sp oh, yo, he got three upgrades in this tower. Monkas. What is B doing with his resources? Um, I don't know. Spending them. Does he have monasteries? Double monaster like that. Eight workers down. Hey, Totem. What's up? Are we witnessing a breakdown? Um, no, it's it's not a breakdown. It's. Again, if this worked, as in, like, Marine Lord got completely denied and, and he denied resources, it, it looks really good, right? It looks like a five head. It looks like, oh my god, why doesn't everyone do this? But when it fails, it looks really bad. Because... That's just how that goes. So that was pretty bad. Uh, Marine Lord's gonna wall here. Marine Lord is still feudal, by the way. I do want to say that. So it did have an impact denying these these resources. He is still in feudal, but B is quite a bit behind economically. So even though Marine Lord has feudal only, he can actually still beat his army. Oh, I don't know about this though. Twelve archers. Oh, that's only five spearmen. Yo, he realizes he's like, oh fuck. Because he was chasing this army and he just saw more units. Um, but yeah, this wall goes up. That's really good. That's a full wall right there. And then the only part of the map Marino needs to focus is like right here. Which is how China wants to be played. He's just trying on orthodox things since he's already down 0-3. I don't think... That's how he plays. I don't think he's like trying out stuff. He does this very frequently. This kind of like taking resources early. Look. Yeah, he's trying out North Orthodox stuff because he's B. Yeah, that's how he plays. So he needs more spearmen. Uh, like Zugin are actually doing okay, but some spearmen are needed. He has a emplacement on this up in this bish, which is pretty good for him. Oh, gremlins are coming, but the knights are falling. Like this is, he, he might do some damage, but this won't be game ending or anything. Like this, this amount of 42 Zugin, by the way, doesn't matter if you got knights and castle. Like they will just fucking dent in everything. Like they're doing right now. Yo, he has no armor upgrades! I mean, it doesn't matter against Castle Knights, but it matters a lot for archers. But he doesn't have plus one either? Oh, he f dude, he forgot for sure, because he built double blacksmith. And now he doesn't have resources to upgrade even. So B got three relics. He can start capturing sacred sites. He's gonna try to get this one. Marine Lord doesn't know about this. Oh, <laughs> mm -mm, no, no, no. Marine Lord's about to find. Dude, I guarantee you, Marine Lord is like, he's gonna see this, he's gonna be like, this fucking baboon. <laughs> Dude, I guarantee you, Marine Lord sees this and like, what the fuck? <laughs> Marine Lord is like, wait for Seventy-four verse twenty-three. Yeah, this this ain't looking too good. Now, if B was on three TC and the game was going like this, it's like maybe. But he is on two TC. Uh, Marine Lord is ahead. 
on workers. Not by insane amounts, but he's producing faster, right? So he will be ahead. And, uh... I mean, eventually Marine Lord will age up, right? Where did the workers go? Oh my god, they're right. Yo, he sees them! Minus eight workers. I imagine if he didn't do that, he would be on 100 workers. Oh, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> Marine Lord's aging up and, uh... Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They can't see. Say, where's Marine Lord's army? All right, upgrades are coming through. This Imperial official is chilling. He needs more gold income. Does he have any gold? Is he mining anywhere? Oh, he needs way more gold. He's gonna realize that very soon. I mean, guys. This army versus this army. Nest of bees is out. Nest of these nuts. Oh no. Okay, kind of sloppy fight from Reynard a little bit. Losing stuff like before his units even arrived. But I think he just has way too much. And B did not get plus to a ranged attack, even though he's massing archers. Um, he's going for the stone. Let's put more on gold here. Yo, yo! Family abuse. What the fuck? Alright. I mean, I don't, like, this game is just a slow, painful death. Hello state? Yeah, I predicted 5-0, 5-1 if, I don't know, Marine Lord gets like a bad matchup or potatoes, but... So far it's looking like a 5-0. When Marine Lord wins, actually, I don't know if you guys know, but when he wins, it's a destruction. Guys, listen, it's time for Marine Lord to win a tournament. He didn't meet me. You know, we'll give him this one. We'll give him this one. Next time, I'm gonna treat him with another 4 0. Maybe a 3 0 if it's the best of both. 
Ah, oh, but I think Marine Lord's playing really well. He's pretty, playing pretty clean, like he's not making a lot of mistakes. So, yeah. Marine Lord just blundered all his siege. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not paying too much attention to the game. I just think it's... Hold on, fuck it. Poppy upset about something? Yeah, that I'm not giving her my attention 24-7. <laughs> I love when she, when she goes off like this. quite a good income. I mean that's nice but there's a keep on his big gold uh, and Marine Lord is literally just penetrating the front of his base by sheer uh, sacre bleu by sheer power. What dog breed is that? It's a GG dog. It's uh, she's a mix of like a street dog from Bahrain and uh, Arabian Hound, I think. Also known as Gigi Dog. B has a critical advantage of Mango now. This one that exploded, or this one that's about to explode? Kick W. Let's go chimp! Yo guys, we gotta listen to Let's Go Chimp for like the next fucking year. Casted every four and me too, man. State would be a god caster, a god tier. And GG gets called. Chimp goes up four to zero. I did receive a keg W or two when I predicted a five zero. But who is keg Wing now? The last time Marine Lord has seen four and zero in the score was a 0-4 actually and that was also ac actually a destruction he's seen those two numbers together okay they were just swapped around a little bit marine lord is taking revenge for you pretty sure he's doing it later so later he can make fun of beastie the thing is it doesn't like marine lord and i always shit talk each other right like i win a tournament i should talk him he wins a tournament he shit talks me but this this is actually the only tournament in from start of AOE4 playoffs or from start of AOE4 from when I started competing 
Which was pretty much from the start. I just skipped like the, what is it called? The Genesis tournament and the winter one. But this is the only tournament where Marinor and I have not met in the playoffs. Which is weird. We always meet like in semifinals. Most of the time it was in finals. N4C. I guess that's true. But we did play a best of five, I guess. But yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, here we played a best of three, right? But it's not the same. So yeah, N4C, which was when? March last year. So in 15 months, of AO, last past 15 months, we have always either played in semi or finals against one another. And this one we did not meet. So yeah, my point is, it's not going to like... Uh, it's not going to be quite a, quite the same him making fun of me cuz he didn't beat me. You know what I mean? Like he deserves this win, don't get me wrong. Like he deserves uh, winning this tournament. But uh I don't I don't think he's going to make fun of me as if he did beat me in the finals or semifinals is what I'm trying to say. No way he's going to let it pass. No, he will shit talk, but I don't, it's not going to be as much cuz he didn't play me. Dude, I had to ban this guy. Frio Lero, you're obnoxious, dude. This guy, all these guys' messages were in my channel. Marine Lord is way better than you. Marine Lord is way is the best player A4 by far. If he did play you, Marine Lord would beat you. Okay, bro, we get it. Thank you. I read it the first four times. Why you're triggered AF? Enjoy. Go join him as well. The, the thing is, I'm not triggered... But by the way, Marine Lord is the best player right now. He won the tur I mean, he's about to win the tournament, right? So he is the best player. I always said, tournament results is what matters. Not what you think, right? Or how you feel. So Marine Lord wins this. He's the best player. It's the fact that these people have like no messages in my stream. And the only thing they're like repeating the same thing. Like, oh, he w you know he would beat you. Or, oh, you know he would do... It's like, bro, I get it. Like, wh what, do you what do you want me to say? You know what I mean? It's just like, they're just being piece of shits. And you know what? That other inbred I just banned for saying I am so triggered, holy fuck. I don't know your name already. I banned you 10 seconds ago. I forgot your name. And you're going to be permaban in my stream forever. And you're never going to type again. And guess what? There's not many people streaming this game. So, <laughs> Anyway, let's get back into the game. Game number five. Don't let, let the rats live rent-free in your head. I don't think they live rent-free in my head. I literally don't know that guy's name. Meanwhile, the two guys are just permaban. I just locked in two viewers for the rest of my life. You know why? Because these two losers are going to watch my stream every single day for the rest of my life. And their life. So they can see me lose another game or so they can see me mauled about something. So I literally just got plus two viewers for the rest of my stream. What the fuck is this? Yo, what is this? Wait a minute, what is this? What the fuck is this? This is Lippany, by the way. Guys, I'm telling you, Marine Lord right now, he's the best player. He's about to win the tournament. But this guy, I've said this two years ago. He has the most diarrhea lucky fucking spawns out of any player I have ever seen. I have never seen this spawn in my life on Lippany. Not only, if Boar spawns here, that's insane. He got boar and deer in one screen away from his TC. I never seen that. I played Lippity probably three, four hundred times. Not even once. This is... Bro, I mean, obviously he didn't plan for this, right? He just saw it and he was like, oh, I can just get that. He even got the survival techniques because he's going to get so much value out of that. So the pressure that he's about to do on, on B is going to be so much stronger because his food income is going to be so much stronger. B has likely the same. Well, 
No, not really. This is one screen away, right? It's like Marine Lord's boar is here. Or he killed it here. So technically similar, right? But he's Abyssin and he can't get it, so. Yeah. I mean, I would say this is pretty even. I mean, okay, it's unlucky for B because he's Abbasid, right? But if B was like French, this would be equally busted for both. And you know what's funny? If B was any other Civ, like Delhi or something, you can put pressure on this. But he literally cannot do anything as Abbasid. That's pretty unfortunate. Like... What, what, like, if Marine Lord is supposed to have, like, 10 units in 2 minutes, or 3 minutes, he's gonna have, like, 12 or 13 units. Like, that's how uh, higher the income is from Boar and Deer. Which is a massive difference. Like, when he's supposed to have 25, he's gonna have, like, 33, 34 units. So that, like, this is a massive deal. Massive deal. To show the villager number? Sure. Is Abbasid more favored on this map in this matchup? Uh, I mean, this is like the best Abbasid map for sure. Uh, matchup, not when I play it. Like when I play it, I feel like English is better. But I I, I feel like when Marinler plays Abbasid, because uh, I've seen him play this matchup, he plays it really well. But I don't I don't know how B's Abbasid against English is. I actually played Marine Lord in this matchup. Uh, in the round robin stage, and I won with English against his Abbasid. But his Abbasid, Marino's Abbasid is really good. It's, uh, I think it's a lot better than other players. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is gonna be really rough to hold. I I'm not gonna lie. Like, look how much food he has because of, of the boar. Oh, he's gonna donate sheep. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a big deal. Oh, that's a big deal. He just lost the scout. That is actually really bad. Oh, yeah, he has to remake a scout. That is really bad. Oof. Yeah, you cannot play English without a scout. So B is actually playing Abbasid with no wheelbarrow. He just gets TC really fast. But I feel like now Marine Lord is in a position where if he just makes units, B is going to have a really hard time catching. Like... If Marine Lord comes here and puts longbows, what is he gonna do? He's just dead, no? I don't I don't really like this from B's uh, perspective. I like what Marine Lord does with Abbasid a lot more. He goes for like insta archer range and horsemen and pushes back the first wave and then gets a DC. I think this is gonna be a really rough hold. Like if he holds, obviously he's in a really good spot, but yeah, and, and Marine Lord is instantly gonna go for the wood line. So if you go here and get your scout here, yeah, I mean, he's. Yeah. And now what? Now you gotta run. And you don't have wheelbarrow, by the way. So where are you gonna go now? Here? I mean, that's. This is already painful, by the way. 13 idle. Wait, what? Wait. Is he gonna? No, he's not gonna try rush castle. He's probably doing it for upgrades. Is he gonna try rush castle? No. No, no, he's probably just getting upgrades. But what is his plan? I don't get it. Oh, he's gonna chop wood here. Okay. Like he needs to make units. If Marine Lord just holds down the unit key right now, that's pretty bad for him. 
I don't like the horticulture here. Why is he getting that? He should get the wheelbarrow. He's not even on sheep. He's got two workers on sheep. Stables? Archer range? I mean, yeah, Marine Lord is. He was waiting here, like, for the workers to come back, or he was waiting for units. I don't think Marine Lord realizes that B has zero units. Because this is not how usually this matchup is played. So I think Marine Lord is, like, waiting here to deny Woodline and kind of chilling. Like, if he knew, obviously, if he saw what we see, he would push in this a lot faster. I guess he can go here. That's probably the best thing he can do. Should bring a worker to chop this down, though. He should just chop down this, for sure. I mean, I guess he can destroy it, too, but... Man, whenever I see workers running this much without wheelbarrow, it, it pains me. It pains me as much uh, as the chapels. And you know what's funny? Marine Lord can actually come here with his workers and get the boar and deer here too. That would be a good idea. Like just take... Look, he's even leaving spearmen for potential horsemen. There's literally zero horsemen out. One. Boom. 17 longbows against two archers. Again, I would be shocked if B wins this. Because this is already looking extremely, extremely rough. But I guess we'll see. Brother, is he trying to wall? Ten, it's ten minutes. He's got five units. I don't think that rushing second TC like this is very good. This gives me bad season one memories. Yeah, it really does, right? I think if you want to learn how to play Abbasid against um, English, I think Marine Lords games are pretty good for that. How did Beastie lose to B? Uh, I mean, I played really bad yesterday. Like, really, really bad. I think today's games against Lucifer I played pretty well, but yesterday I played really bad. I thought, uh, also, I think B played a lot better. Like, B played yesterday like how he played game one against Marine Lord, and I think after that game, he just fell apart mentally. I mean, you can see after game one, he's just playing way worse. Um, so, yeah. What's the worst you've ever played and still won? Um, I mean, probably yesterday with HR versus Malians. I played pretty bad that game and I won. Yo, he's aging up! Marine Lord can make rams. He's making two towers. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, now let's... Oh my god, B is just... He's got workers all the way to the north. He's still got no wheelbarrow. A Marine Lord is playing so passive. I think if Marine Lord loses this game, which now I think is slowly becoming a possibility, I think he, can, he still should win, but... I think that if Marine Lord loses his game, he's gonna kick W at, at this game. He's not making the ram, but I. Why is he rushing castle? I mean, it worked when he played against me on wetlands, right? He rushed castle really fast off of 3 TC, and uh, I, I didn't... I, I was kind of playing passive like Marine Lord, and he caught me off guard completely, and I think it's gonna catch Marine Lord off guard too. 
I, I don't think Marine Lord is expecting... Uh, the reason why Marine Lord is staying near his towers is because he's expecting army. Look, he literally has no units. He's two archers. And Marine Lord, if he knew this, obviously he would fucking dive under TC and kill everything. But he doesn't know. And now, even if he... I mean, he's gonna see the age up, but... Yeah, he's gonna see the gold and yeah, there it is. Yeah, now it's a goat time. See, look look at the, how Marine Lord's posture changes immediately. You see that? He goes from like a, like playing passive around his tower to now just being like, oh fuck, I gotta go. Like I gotta push immediately. Like he needs to do something. And now, I mean, this is pretty bad for Marine Lord. Pretty, pretty bad for Marine Lord. Oh! Uh -oh. Dude, these villagers running with no wheelbarrow is so painful. They're so slow. Villager about to go down. Oh fuck, he missed. Uh, yeah, I actually think that now B might win because. And you know what's funny? I actually told Marine Lord. I told him when he, I was like, I said this earlier when I in um, French versus Abbasid game. I told him. I said this earlier. When he plays Abbasid, I was like, his Abbasid's pretty good, but he might just skip units and age up. So, like, if you play against his Abbasid, you gotta, like, go for it. Otherwise, he might skip on units and it kind of catch you off guard. And he literally did that. But, yeah, he does have zero food. So... He's got 970 wood. I mean, guys, th again, I'm gonna say it, like... I don't think this is how usually B plays Abbasid. Like, this game is a pretty big disaster. As in, like, quality of gameplay, right? Not the style. Like, look, so much idle and shit. So I don't think B is playing uh, too amazing, but uh, yeah. B played this too greedy? I mean, yeah. He did, for sure. But... He's just trying things, I think. Guys, I, don't, I literally don't know why people keep saying he's just trying things. That's, like, that's how he plays. He literally did a, this against me yesterday. With Abbasid vs. French. He actually went 3 TC, made like 10 units, and went castle. This was a similar... Well, he didn't go 3 TC because Marine Lord isn't 1 TC. But it's this, literally the same thing. He pretends to make units, doesn't, goes full greed into castle, and if he holds, he, he has a massive lead. Now in this case, because it's Lipani, uh, and because Marine Lord's English, he managed to do a fuck ton of damage, so it, I don't think this is gonna work out. Why would you just try things in the finals of the tournament? I mean, it's just people like coping, like, oh, that's... He's just trying stuff. He's not trying stuff. That's his style. Again... When it works, it works really well. AK, look at the uh, game against me yesterday, Ab uh, Abbasid versus French and Wetlands. When it works, it looks poggers. When it doesn't work, this is what it looks like. It's actually the same exact thing, except it's a... Or same style, but it's a different map and different opponents. <clears throat> But yeah, Marine Lord managed to find a lot of damage. 18 workers killed. And now, by the way, they're on equal TC numbers. Oof. 
I mean, this game is over. Both are on 2TC, except Marine. I mean, bro, no wheelbarrow yet. Ugh. 29 idle. Oh, yeah, right. Second TC fucking died. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's two for TC versus one. I forgot about that. But I think Marine Lord overall played pretty clean. Um, I don't think he made a lot of mistakes. Like even the mistakes that mistakes that he made were not really mistakes. They were like he had an option A or B and he chose A and B would have been better. But it wasn't necessarily a mistake, right? Um, so I think Marine Lord played pretty clean. I thought he played cleaner yesterday. Like I think yesterday versus Lucifer, he looked really good. And um, like yesterday's games versus Lucifer were really like on point. I think but today was he was on point too, right? But um, some things could have been better. Let's just say that. But overall, I think obviously he uh, he played better. Seems like B is taking too big of risks for too little rewards. No, the rewards are great. I mean, okay, for you guys on YouTube, you probably already seen it because it's gonna the semi or my games are gonna be uploaded before this video. But for you guys on Twitch, I'm gonna go over my games after, and you'll see this exact situation except when it worked out. Okay, like I'll show you a game where B did did this exact thing against me, but it did work out, and and it, he destroyed me, right? But it's like, like when Marine Lord loses or wins, it's never like very one-sided, right? It's always like, oh, he could have done this better or this better. But I feel like with B, it's it's always like the scale is very tipped on one side or the other. Like when he wins, he wins really hard. And when he doesn't, he loses pretty hard. It's always a destruction. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So I'm not commentating too much because I mean, what is there to commentate? Ooh, let me congrats champ on uh, on this court. what I mean and a lot of people think like oh beast is just hating or beast is just... so I messaged with or grats chimp pog and he said pog and it replies to my to, to the pog he says he sucked after game one like it's very noticeable that after game one he just took a nosedive in performance like but that's 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 tournaments you know like one of the hardest parts about tournaments it is like to lose a game, like be lost in game one, and to be like, okay, okay, fuck that. Let's just, let's just play on. It's very hard. It's very hard mentally. And sometimes it doesn't have to do anything with tilt, right? Like, I'm not saying B was necessarily tilted from game one, because tilt is like when you're like molding. It's just like, ah, uh, like, ah, uh, you know, I was supposed to win that. You know, it's hard to shake it off and keep playing. It's very hard. Like you uh, lost that due to that sheep? Yeah, but that's the thing that a lot of people don't get and people memed on me. But uh, that was in Golden League 1 finals. I won the game 1 and I think it was game 2. I had that bug where my sheep went neutral. I didn't lose the series because of the sheep, right? I lost the game. Or, or, in my opinion, I lost the series because the, the, the sheep thing tilted me so bad, I was mentally gone. Like, I was fucking disconnected from that point on. 
And by the way, I might have still lost that, right? That series, I might have still lost, but I knew when that shit happened, I was gone mentally. I was like, it's over. And, you know, after game one uh, between them, I told you guys, whoever loses this is going to be really bad mentally. Whether it's like a tilt or just like, oh, fuck, I should have won that. Because B knows he should have won that. Right? Marine Lord knows he should have lost that. So, from Marine, it's like, it's like double damage because B knows he should have won that. So he's feeling bad about it. And Marine, Marine Lord knows he should have lost it. So he feels even better because he won. Right? Not, not just like, oh, I won the game. He's like, holy shit, I should have not lost that. Or I should have not won that. So he feels a lot better. But yeah. What a day. What a day. Yo, I fucking called it. 5-0. Oh, I said 5-1. Are you playing for third place? I already played. It was a very quick series. It was a destruction. <laughs> it was a destruction. Third place match are really useless. I mean, I got thousand dollars extra. But in general, it's like no one cares if you're third or fourth, you know. So yeah, you're either first or last. True. I mean, I think that's how most competitive players feel, right? No matter what you do. You're either first or you're last. Doesn't matter anything in between, so who gives a shit, right? But grats to the chimp once again. He is the championship uh, of EGC Classic. Amazing. Hello? Can you hear me? What did you do with T? Huh? You gave him a final a piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh... I predicted a 5 0, by the way. I said 5 0 or 5 1. When? Before the game saying, started. Rus is so hard, man. It's so no, hard to Before beat the him. game started, I said 5 0 or 5 1. And after the game one, I said it's a 5 0. Because uh, I was like, there's no way he comes back after that kind of loss. Yeah, it's a. So. Hard. But first, he played very well in the mid game of the game one. Yeah, yeah, no, he did. I Like, initially, I was like, okay, you're doing your thing, you know, you're setting yeah. yourself up. And then he started coming back, and I was like, it, it's one of those, like, he keeps pushing, and every time he pushes, you lose, like, a barracks or something. So I thought, actually, you're going to lose. Yeah. Um, I was pretty dead, I think. When did you think you turned it around in that game? When I made the, won the wonder, and I felt like I had a big bank. Like big oh, just then? Old. Yeah. So, something interesting happened, and I, I don't, because, obviously, I was, I was watching the game. And he was pushing with rams everywhere, right? And I was yeah. like, oh, Marine Lord's gonna die in like 5 to 10 minutes. But yeah. then, I don't know if he deleted his villagers, but his wood count went like blank. And he just stopped yeah. pushing completely. And... Yeah, he made a bigger army and he stopped making arms. I'm not sure if he could afford that. Because it, obviously it's so much wood, right? But mm. it's still like a lot of damage he's dealing. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, I think that was his best game for sure. Like... He could have pushed yeah. the left side a lot sooner to kill the trade, but I guess he didn't. Now, I thought the decision to go for the wonder was pretty good because it's like you can't beat China in the late game, right? So you might yeah. as well do it super early. So I like the stone purchase, but did you think of putting it down immediately? Like the moment you got 6k? Or no, did I you know, like... plan to wait? Anyway. I think we all did this mistake in the past. Like we go wonder too early and we just simply die to a, a normal push, mm. like a long push. So I was like, okay, I need at least like gold. I didn't care because obviously I had like like 30, 35 traders, so it mm -hmm. was fine. But I was like at, at least 6k wood and 6k food. 
and if possible a bit more but yeah i think i did a wonder at this point pretty much like when i had 6k 6k mm. in the bank yeah I, I i mean i thought you would die but then like i said the, the push just suddenly stopped and he went grenadiers which i was like yeah. i mean grenadiers are really good against mass melee but against streltsy not so much oh yeah is there a reason why you didn't go for siege a lot earlier um, I mean, I wanted to push on the left, but I had some wood issues. I think I really fucked up the mid game. Like uh, when I realized in late, late, maybe like at 30 or 30, 40 minutes, I had only uh, the first food and wood upgrade. I understood why I had uh, this little money. Oh, okay. But yeah, I had some uh, just bad macro and I, I couldn't really uh, play the way I wanted because I just didn't have uh, as much money as usually. Hmm. It was weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I mean, I said it like at, towards the end of that game. I was like, if you win that game, like both players know, like you know you shouldn't have won that game and he knows that he shouldn't have lost yeah. that game. So it's like mentally, it's yeah. very hard to to recover, especially because it was a one hour and like 20 minute game. Um, so is it true that he didn't, so was he not aware that there was wonder or was he not aware that the sacred side yeah. is longer than the wonder? He realized that like, uh, I mean, say like three or four minutes, I think. That that you have wonder? Yeah. Okay, because I saw that you you delayed sacred sight. Um, yeah. Past past the point, right? So yeah. I was like, when because I saw the um, chat messages and I was like, does he does he mean that like the wonder or sacred sight or whatever? Okay, then we had game two. Um, <laughs> what do you think about the two TC he did or two TC castle rush? I guess. I feel like my map was so insane. I was yeah. full just win of that. Yeah. So I don't know. But this map is so bad, man. It's just not competitive. It cannot be in my in yeah. map. I called and you a piece of shit pits, a couple of times during that map. I was like, this fucking shit stain always with the godlike spawn. Like yeah, that was sure, disgusting. I actually thought you're just gonna like with that spawn especially, maybe with worse okay, spawn. No. But with that spawn I thought you were just gonna put a tower and just age up. Because I, I yeah, don't I think you could have done anything there. But I was worried he would just yolo in my base and find a way to do the damage. So yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play how I wanted to play it. I wanted to go like for Master Chair and age up when he age up. And then if he choose, I mean, no matter what he does, like if he age up and I age up, then I can go fast Swabia pretty much. And mm. then he's dead. Yeah, so yeah. I think no matter what, if I just survive in age two, I, I'm winning. Yeah, I, I actually wonder if his plan was to do the castle thing or he did it because you were making units so he thought like oh you're committing so i'm just gonna make because he made like seven longbows and then aged up yeah so i'm not sure what his plan was but the moment i saw him cut the units i was like this is not gonna work <laughs> because you both age yeah. up and then you're hre yeah. and you can just go imperial immediately and there's not much you can do about it so that was kind of yeah the, the map was just insane for this one honestly like the chapel was so insane all right, uh, wood wall. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if you know, but he actually wanted to build a TC all the way forward. And then he yeah. realized that like your knights are too fast, so yeah. he pulled it back. But he still lost uh, lost two workers. Did you did you feel like you have a like huge lead there or? Yeah, I feel like I would just stay on two TC against two TC and uh, try to force him into a long feudal so mm. you have a bigger advantage as time goes yeah but yeah it was such a good game and at the moment uh my tc almost killed the spear i was like okay he's fucked now because i'm gonna have two, two knights and he doesn't have anything to defend uh, his units and then he went up with his archer to deny him uh, me sometimes so I was like okay i know this guy i'm sure he's gonna go for a big tc on the on the dude, I, I just sent one knight. Dude, I, li I literally was talking about this i was like he's 100 percent gonna go like for all the way forward and yeah. when he lost the spearman when I saw him run up, I was like, oh, he's going to try to, like, you know, bait you. And then you split off one knight. And I was like, oh, no, it's not going to work. And then, you know, you kill two villagers. Um, but, yeah, after that, I mean, you know, you're just building up lead. And I don't think he could have yeah. gone three TC from that point on. It was, no. like, too too bad. So it was kind of over from the get-go. What do you think about his Abbasid that he did with, like, super fast TC in both games with no yeah. upgrades? Like no wheelbarrow, oh. no spearman, just kind of completely naked. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like against French, I can see, uh, but I mean, it was so forward against French. So I'm not really sure. Like if it was maybe a normal uh, wood wall, where you have like uh, maybe sp even split uh, 
with your berries. So like this game would way more berries on the left. Yeah. Maybe in this case, he's just gonna go TC in his base and just gonna chill. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Same uh, my, my game uh, with English, obviously, against Abbasid. I never had that happening to me, so like maybe it's fine for him. But at the same time, he was making like tower. Man, when... I was seeing some villagers running left and right, and I was like, okay, I'm just fine. Yeah, he didn't have Wilbur a whole game. In that yeah. One. So, I, I was actually... So, did you see that he was uh, castle rushing or you had no idea? Uh, when I didn't see many units coming out, I was like, okay, most likely castle. Like, no, no matter what, I was like, okay, he's just gonna die to the push. Because, I mean, you just have too much idle time, you know, it works. Like, with English, yeah. you have, uh, if you have to farm early, then maybe it's close. But here I had the boar plus my... Yo, that boar! I had dude, ship. dude, that boar? I've never seen that on Lipany. It was so close to the TC. Really? It was one no, screen away. Often. Oh. When, when you play against Swiss, it's so sad. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. I mean, he had the same, right? But he's Abbasid, so yeah. it's like... Yeah, he's Abbasid. It sucks for him. But yeah, when, when that game happened... um. I mean, he had multiple times, like 23 to 25 villagers with no wheelbarrow running around. So I was like, yeah. I mean, even if you kill nothing, like that's just, yeah, it was painful how much they had to move. EGC, thank you so much for the tournament. Thanks so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the games today. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome everyone. We're interviewing Marine Lord's cat right now. Patat. Um, so yeah, when, when he, when he aged up, um, I thought like, Maybe there's a chance, but then I looked like he had no upgrades, like no double broad axe, yeah, no, no. nothing. And um, yeah, he had a good eco, and uh, I killed a few villagers. He was still idling so much economy. Mm. I killed the second TC. I was like, okay, no, there is no way he can survive. Yeah, I mean, it's just like it was GG pretty early, I guess technically. So I, I I also didn't play too much against this style with like super fast TC yeah. with with no no wheelbarrow nothing. So I actually wasn't sure how it's gonna play out. But at yeah, one point at, at like nine minutes when he was still producing like he produced units, he had yeah. like five horsemen and two archers I think, and you had like yeah. nineteen longbow seven spears. And I was like, yeah, this is not. That's looking good. But yeah, and he was producing dangerous. like he wasn't cutting units at that point. Yeah. That's when he cut. But I was like, yeah, I don't. I even mentioned like I don't think Marine Lord realizes because if he did realize like the situation, you'd probably just yolo in earlier. Because uh, yeah. I don't know. I was just scared of the TC fire, right? Like sometimes you underestimate it and you just die. I was like, okay, yeah, but he had, he so had wood idle. line in the in the yeah. backside, like yeah. super in the back, so. Obviously, if he's making units, you can't attack there, right? Because then if he gets around, you just lose the game. But, yeah. uh, I mean, he could have played it better because like uh, he had a front wood in his base. Mm -hmm. If he just made a small wall, I couldn't have gone like left to right all the time. So I would have like uh, had so much more issue denying his wood. Oh yeah, with, his, with his second wood line? Yeah, his second forward wood line was yeah, uh, yeah. very, very close to his TC. Yeah, so yeah, yeah like, and then there was, like, wall... there was like a cliff behind it actually, so yeah, you yeah, had to go yeah. extra. Yeah. Yeah, this one I was like, okay, if he use it properly, he's gonna kill me. But he didn't. And then, yeah, as I said, like, I know, like, I have less villagers. He has Golden Age, he has so many, many good things. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, villagers don't cost, uh, cost as much. But I know, like, if you just have a little bit of idle time, you're just so fucked against English. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna push H2 forever. If he age up, I'm gonna push in and I'm gonna age up too. Mm -hmm. And he was pretty dead. Uh... I mean, he was dead pretty much all the game except, um, even game one. He was dead very fast, but then he he played very well. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. the China Rus game was pretty hard for me. Maybe. China sure. Rus, that's uh, game four. Yeah. What did you okay? What did you think when uh, when he made wooden fortress <laughs> on the bottom? I wasn't surprised. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like it's at his moment. I was like, yeah, he's dead <laughs> because he's just gonna play forward against my like uh, on my resources with uh, many villagers. He's on less economy than me because I am on 2TC plus Dynasty. Yeah. He's only on 2TC. So I was like, okay, he's gonna go for a lot of units, he's gonna go age up, but whatever, I can just mass the Genu. And the moment he decides to age up, I can just kill the, the economy that is in my base pretty much. Yeah. And then I'm even further ahead. So I don't really get his plan. What, what did you think when you saw the second, the second wooden fortress at like what? the left side deer? Oh. I mean, because that that, that was a late one. That was not like if he did it on start, it would be gone by the time you arrived. Yeah. But that yeah. was like you were pushing out, and his villagers just arrived, and they made the wooden fortress. So yeah. I was like, I was surprised because I was looking at the boar right on the left. Sometimes, yeah. so at some point I was I was like, maybe he's there, so I'm gonna check. 
but since it was on the hunt, I was a bit surprised, but like it's his playstyle, so it's not that surprising, right? Yeah. The funny thing is the bottom wooden fortress that went down first, I mean, it's obviously like hard to, you know, decide in the moment or to know, but you had like five spears, seven Zuginu and an archer. He had two yeah. knights and two archers. That's it. That was his defense yeah. for the eight villagers. And I was like, oh, if Marine Lord reacts immediately, you can actually kill everything. But he actually placed the tower. When he placed it, the, the forest disappeared and you could see it. Yeah. But yeah. he then ended up going up. But I think after that, it was like, yeah. you know, <laughs> the army was like 80 versus 20 for majority of the game. Like he, yeah. any unit he made, he just... Yeah. When I wanted to push the bottom, like when you said he was not safe, I was not sure if he was uh, having more army there or not. But at the same time, there was a wave of three units coming into my base. A big wave that shouldn't be in the game. So I was very scared of this one. And I wanted to defend this one in priority because I know like militia is totally broken. So Yeah, dude, when, like, the, okay, when the castle one, one arrived, I was like, oh shit, yeah. they're about to fucking yeah, bust but... some villagers. Yeah, but Zuginu. At this point, I was like, okay. What's more broken, uh, militia or Zuginu? Ah, uh, militia, that's not close, man. Really? Zuginu, you just... I mean, the, literally the nerf that is coming, it's huh? enough of a nerf, and it's a small nerf. Yeah. Militia, you can do 10 nerfs, it's still broken. It just doesn't belong into the game. Is it the most broken unit in the game? Yeah, easily, no? For its cost and how strong it is, I think it's easily the best. Really? Yeah, well, what else? What else is that broken? I mean, before we had the uh, Mayan scout. But I mean, after. are we taking in consideration the changes? I mean, the patch changes? If we don't, I think it's Malian Scout. I mean, yeah. But and with then changes? It's very close. Mm. Yeah, I still think oh, Malian is the best. The new Sipahi, I don't know, brother. No, I Have try. I the... played a bit on the patch, Sheesh. but. It's good, but I, I'm not sad. I mean, I don't know. We will see. Alright, uh, I got last question or two for you for the new patch uh out of abbasid mongo ottoman and delhi i'm gonna need you to rate the new units from first to last place start with the last place so we got sipahi gulams gazi raiders and kashix well i don't really know i didn't play much against kashix and uh what's the name I don't give a fuck. Uh, I gulam. need a 1 to 4 right now. Okay, okay. My prediction. Mm -hmm. Wait, what, what is the Gulam doing actually? It's like anti it's like men at uh, arms, arms, right? It's like. No, no, no. It's like dual wielding men at arms. Apparently, oh, yeah. it's really good. So it's bad against. Not that good against men at arms, but it's better against Archer. No, no, right? no. It, it beats men at arms, I'm pretty sure. Okay. No, it, it loses to crossbows, but if it's only crossbows against them, they beat them too. Man, I barely played. I don't know. I'm gonna say. Uh... The Mongol unit first. The best? Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not sure because every time there is some healing into RTS, it's always shit. Like it looks and sounds strong, but in the end, it's super bad. That's, so how, that's right, how but... usually things work, right? The, yeah. the stuff you think is bad is actually good. The stuff that's good you, it turns out yeah, shit. Yeah, but that was the same on AOE 2 and I was like, oh my god, that sounds broken. And it's barely useful. It's not very good. I uh, think it's going to be pretty I mean... nice, but I don't know how... Good, good. I think, be. I think the Abbasid one is very cool, actually. I think the Gulam is uh, going to be very useful. And Abbasid is actually pretty strong uh, already in mid late, so... Yeah. If it's actually better than the Man at Arm, maybe it's going to no, be scary. No, no, I think it's way better than Man at Arm. I yeah. don't think it's even yeah, comparable. That sounds, yeah, yeah. That sounds uh, pretty scary. And then the Delhi unit, I'm not sure. Like, maybe it's just a strong unit, but they nerfed Delhi so bad that it's not very good right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe it's a good unit too. I would say it's a third one. Oh, no, no, the CPA is a third, no? CPA is very good. Yes, no, Sipahi is actually, I think, super underrated. Like, the, the, the range is insane. It's insane, but... I don't know. They need to help my Ottomans. They suck a bit. Alright. So I'm not really sure if that helps uh, enough. Alright, uh, last question. Top 3 saves. Next patch, go. Next patch? Well, uh, this patch. New patch. Oh my god, that's hard. I'm not sure what China is gonna do. I mean, Rus is the best, obviously. I'm bringing Otter Totter, aka GG Dunk for you. Let's go. Rus is best. And then... What do we have? There's the GG Dunk. Hello GG Dunk. Better. Oh, why aren't you painting Patat? 
I mean, she is alone. Bro, just keep petting the fucking... Jesus. Uh, Ruiz is best, and then I don't know, man. Then it's maybe... Uh... Is French getting buffed? Oh, they got the trade buff, but it's not very useful. Omega low. I mean, it's wait, trade, it's wait, what else did French get, guys? Chat knows, probably. They got the, the much, trade huh? upgrade? Wasn't there more changes? Not much for French, I think. Oh, crossbow are better a bit, yeah. That's oh, insane crossbow. because crossbow is already broken. Yeah, but French. you don't really make it. I mean, right now I would say, like... On the last patch, it was China and HRE just behind, but I think maybe it's... Uh... I mean, HRE is always solid, right? They didn't get changed, but... It's still gonna be very strong. I feel like the China Zugenu nerf is gonna be pretty huge. But obviously, their late game is gonna be even more broken. So maybe it's fine. And China is just gonna be uh, totally broken because... You don't buff uh, the best late game sieve in late game. That doesn't make any sense. But <laughs> thanks to our devs, they do that and they they kill the game even more. Wow! Wow! Okay, yeah. so you said Rus one. Who's second? Rus, I'm gonna say HRE China, but. It's close. Damn, HRE second, really? Yeah, maybe French. It's close. It depends on maps, right? Huh. But yeah, I really want uh, them to change militia and uh, China late game, like. You cannot give them more stuff when it's already totally broken. I think broken. China late game, like everyone can agree, it's fucking dumb. Yeah, but it's already like, it's uh, the last six months, people are whining about China late game, Rus and Malians. And they buff China late game since six months later, they barely, barely nerf militia, and they nerf Malians, they fix Malians. So maybe Malians is fine now, but like the rest is so... I don't get it, right? Like, they have six months to think of a patch, and it's bad, so... Mm. I mean, it's not as good as what I wanted, right? Maybe it's not bad, but... What do you think, what uh, what do you think about Malin? Is it going to be good then? I think it's going to be cheesy, so I don't really like it, but... Yeah, it's still going to be good, I think. Yeah, alright. I think it depends on which matchup. Because, like, for example, against French, the fact that you used to make scout to counter, counter knights was huge, right? You can probably so, like, still no, do it. You can probably still do it, but it's close, and you cannot really steal the hunt as good. Yeah. Like it's a big nerf, so yeah, for example, maybe this kind of matchup is fine. I've actually played around with some 2TC Mali and yeah. it's not bad. Yeah, no, no, the, the Sieve is good actually. Yeah. I okay. think it's gonna be pretty good in open maps. Maybe, maybe it's top 3, right? But I think it's pretty close, actually. China, French, Malians. Damn, so you think bans are gonna be on Rus now? Yeah, for sure. Shit. And even if some, I mean, maybe it's China because it's just dumb and not fun. But I think Rus makes more sense. I'm banning Rus. If you want to win. Yeah, I'm banning Rus too. Most people don't know, even know how to play Malian, so... I don't know, because people yeah, don't play Yeah, they suck it. with it. Yeah, so it's kind of pointless. I mean, yeah, you don't really play Malian very, very well. Like, B didn't even ban it against you, he was like, yeah, that's free win, so... Check that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that yeah, turned out great. Yeah, I mean, yeah. All right. We could see yesterday, like, you got owned, so... Right, It's I unlucky, mean, but it is what it is, you know. True, true, true. Uh, but you beat Lions. That's a cool one. Yeah, with HRE. Yeah. I mean, okay. that's what I mean. I, I, I generally don't think many people actually play Malians even remotely well. I don't know if it's because they don't know how to yeah. play it or because they don't practice it, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, B was almost okay, but yeah, in the, f in the first part of the Castle Age, he played pretty bad, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Didn't see uh, a win from you, but uh, you held and you, you won this one. Mm -hmm. True. Alright, yeah. well thank you for the interview, yes, congrats you. again Chimp, uh, I'll see you in the 2v2 tournament. Uh, are yeah. you gonna win that or are you going out first round? Mm, uh, oh, that's gonna be hard man. <laughs> I, I don't really know Elion actually, like, I just know he's pretty good, and like from the 8 year and the uh, Silver League, mm -hmm. he deserved to be picked, right? It's mm -hmm. not like he... Uh, and he's French, so... So I you feel can like it was be a, like, sacré a bleu, petit, yeah. petit, oh, oui, oh, les fromages, and then he comes yeah. in and helps you. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I hope he can carry you. See. We'll see. Yeah, sure. VH is going to carry your ass. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can you ask him every day to nerf militia, please? Every day. Like when uh, you start sure. the discussion, that's the first move you have to do. I can try. Oh, if we... Let's go. Are you guys going to play any practice games or no? Yeah, we can try to book some, but I think Eliana is a, a bit of a busy guy and uh, he plays a Silver League still this uh, week. I mean, yeah, same for Fage, like, he doesn't have yeah. a lot of time, but if we end up on different side of the bracket, we can do some too. Yeah, we can squeeze in some game for sure. Oh, sure. All right, GG's, yeah, bye -bye. congrats again, G have a good one. Peace! Yeah, bye.
that was the champion amazing congrats to marine lord he did it son of a gun he did it um but yeah overall like i said already i think first game was the most competitive i think b kind of fell apart after that you could see it i mean marine lord said that right i think everyone could see it it wasn't quite the same gameplay but that is took uh yeah he took down eight thousand boonty yeah couldn't get 80 but he took eight thousand um so yeah, overall, um, GG's to Marine Lord. I think the games were, from his side, were pretty clean. Um, he definitely deserved to win the tournament, so that's it. And in Marine Lord's honor, let's do it. Three fucking scouts, and I get 80 bounty, 80. You shoved my arm at the start of the game. 80 bounty, I was like, I'm 24, 20 this game. We got scat gems going, let's go! Three fucking scouts and I get 20 boots, 80, 80.